All right, what is going on guys? So we are going to be streaming BTD6 for the first time. So hopefully things go well. I have to do a different setup than I usually do for uh, battle streams. But let me just try navigating the menus. Hopefully everything runs smoothly. If it doesn't, then just let me know. Although there's nothing I can do about it. I guess while we're waiting for everybody to join, um, I guess I could show you what I got so far. So I've basically unlocked every single upgrade. Let me just go through one step at a time. May I ask what you're using to stream? Um, I am streaming from my... Well, I'm playing the game on my phone right now, but I'm using um, a program that connects my phone screen to PC. So that's how I can stream it from here. There might be like... A little bit of a delay on the screen. So just just letting you know that in advance. So yeah. Right now I'm just missing... Hold on. Let's see what upgrade I am missing for 50 years. Glue storm over here. I'm... I almost have enough for that. And then there's one more. Let me just see. Or did I unlock that already? Wait, did I? Okay, I think I got everything except for the glue gunner. Yeah. So that's all we have to do left, the glue gunner over here. Anyways, we're just gonna hop into a game. Oh, uh, what do we wanna do? Should we show showcase a fifth tier? Hold on. Tell me uh, what fifth tiers you guys you guys want to see. I don't know if any of, any of you have actually tried them yet, because the game is already out. Fifth tier Buccaneer. Um, here your flagship, maybe. Heart Lord is... N These two aren't really that great at showcasing. I could do this one if you wanted. Get your Ace. Tyler did that, but I can do another one. Let's see. Sarbama. Sar Ground Zero. Uh, we could do this, potentially. I know Tyler did this. We could do Sky Shredder, if I wanted to. You know what? Let's, let's go for an Ace. One of these two. I don't know yet. But, let's hop into... Let's hop into a game that we haven't done yet. So, you see I already did a bunch of uh, games and maps already. Let's do Cracked on Medium. Just to start off. Get up that last... What are the wizard ones like? Um, I haven't actually tried them out yet. I'll see. Actually, I do have a um, video coming out after this stream. Which has to do with the wizard. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Let me just start off with... I can't start off with the Monkey Ace, sadly. I didn't switch out Gwendolyn either. So... Can't use Boats or Bucks. Oh, that sucks. Let's try Boomerang Start. You know, it kind of sucks on this map. Also, let me know if there's any lag. Because this is the first stream. And I'm actually streaming at 720p. Which is something I generally don't do. But yeah, let's get this to... More popping power. I think I have auto round start on, which is fine. But we're, we're gonna head into free play mode here and try to get up one of these fifth tier towers. The Monkey Ace, to be exact. Not too laggy? Alright. That's good to know. Um, should I wait for Gwendolyn over here? I think... I think I've actually been calling Gwendolyn a he. And it turns out, uh, Gwendolyn is a female. It's kind of hard to tell. I didn't know monkeys had genders. <laughs> or, you know, you just assume they're all male. No sex, next, no sex intended. Yeah, I think we could save up for Gwendolyn without having to lose any lives here. Just need to finish round... Yeah, round 6 over here. I keep pressing on this by accident. Come on. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able... No, screw it. <laughs> We're gonna lose one life, but that's okay. Because we got Gwendolyn right about now. We have a I personally think Gwendolyn is the best hero, like... Damage-wise. Yeah, definitely damage-wise, Gwendolyn is... Probably the strongest. Hey. Mostly because she's the most expensive. <laughs> it's monkey sexism. Yes. 
All right, now that I'm listening to it carefully, it does sound like a female voice. I kind of didn't pay attention to that earlier. Even though I've basically been doing like, I've been using Gwendolyn like every single game ever since I've switched to her. But yeah, there's also Oban, which is not that great, at least from what I can tell. He's the cheapest hero, so you can afford him right off the bat. But yeah, I personally don't recommend Oban. Striker Jones is good only if only if you have bomb towers around it. If you look at any of its upgrades over there. Okay, I'm gonna drop a monkey farmer very very early because we're gonna start farming. Try to get up that money so we can get a fifth tier very very soon. Ooh, favorite tower? I don't know yet. I've barely even played this game. Come on, guys. It's, a bit, it's still been less than a week since I've played it, so I still don't have any favorites as of yet, or at least a clear favorite. That is what I, mean to, what I mean to say. Okay, we can get our farm right this next round. Slow down. I wonder if you lose any bananas if you place it, like, before the end of the round. Or if you if there's a difference between placing at the beginning of the round versus the middle. Probably is. But yeah, it is kind of hard to me for me to uh, read chat because I am looking down on my phone right now. I was actually trying out... Um, a different kind of recording where I would be able to play on my PC, like actually use my mouse to control everything. But unfortunately that did not work when I opened it up today. Like I was trying to connect my phone to that, but it just didn't load. So I had to switch back to this, uh, this kind of method over here. Anyways, I'm probably going to need some more defense. I'm going pretty barren over here with just this 100 farm and this very, very weak boomerang monkey. Yeah, Helipilot Mo Shop is great, but that's kind of expensive. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need something for this. These pinks. You know, let's try to get a... let's get a Bionic bo Boomer. I haven't used this in a real game, or at least not very much. So... Let's just try it. $1,600, alright. Yeah, if it's lagging, then I'm probably gonna have to do something about it. Like, right now my phone is going pretty smoothly. I'm not sure what else could be causing it, aside from the fact that I'm streaming in 720p. I just wanted to test it out. If it's lagging, I'm probably gonna have to lower it down for tomorrow's stream, in where I will be going for uh, the highest round. Yes, tomorrow, Friday. 28 hours from now, approximately. But yeah, we'll talk about that later. Let me just get a Bio Boomer up. I also realized round 24 camos are coming up. The stream is lagging on YouTube. Is it lagging on Twitch? That is the question. Um. But for round 24, I can actually use Gwendolyn's ability. It drops fire on the map, or on the on path. Huh, that's weird. If it's lagging on YouTube and not on Twitch. Oh well. Well, more the reason to more reason to move to Twitch then. But yeah, round 24, this is what I'm gonna do. Since I don't have camera detection, I can just drop fire on the track and it will be consumed, or the camo green will be consumed by it. Also, apparently banks are the way to go on uh, BT6, at least at the moment. They're just hella efficient. Let me just get up these farms first so I still get some residual income. Fill the map with temples? Um, I'll be doing that tomorrow. Yeah, so far this- I can't really tell how well this bio boomer is doing because I have this on fast forward. But I guess it's doing alright. Can I remove this thing? Yes, $1,000, but probably not yet. I want to get a bank very, very soon. I'm not sure if I can get away with it right now. But I will see. Is that the best way to go? Um, I still think temp temples are the way to go. Like, fill up the map as with as many temples as possible. Yes. And then just fill, fill up... Use... Any useful 5th tier tower for late game. And then fill the rest with the strongest 4th tier tower you can think of. Which 
in my opinion, is the Dark Champion. So the third path on the Super Monkey. That's probably the best one. Okay, so we can get the Monkey Bank very, very soon. After this round. Or right on this round, actually. Okay, cool. Sweet. Now we need some counter action for round 33. Um, I'm gonna get a Monkey Ace, like, right now. Awesome. You know, I think I'm gonna go for the first path. So, like, the the one in the Operation Dark Storm. Let's go for that fifth tier. Just because the Star Bomb Bomb is an ability. I'd rather see a... An actual tower. How about that? Next round is camos, so let's get a spy plane real quick. Yeah, the Legend of the Night Path, but the fourth tier, um, that one costs like 70k, so that's probably the most expensive fourth tier tower. Aside from the um, temple, let's just drop that down to pop the camos. But yeah, Dark Knight is the most expensive fourth tier tower aside from the temple, so you probably want to spam the map with those. As well as, you know, abilities and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna leak lives, I don't really care again. We're not playing on the popple mode, so, popple mode, so not a big deal for me. Not a big deal for me. Also, can anyone tell me how many viewers I'm getting on Twitch? Because I cannot see. Let's get up more of these. I think we'll be fine, we just have to wait about 14 rounds or so to collect from a bank. I just realized, yes, we have to beat Moabs too, okay. Now this fighter plane upgrade over here, the third tier on Monkey Ace over here. Fly, flies fast and launches anti up missiles, so I can use that for more bomb power, but I don't know how well... I don't know how well that does. 56? Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I think I'll stick with these kind of farms for now. Get a fighter plane. I don't think it actually shoots the missiles out unless there is a mob on the screen, which... Kinda sucks, if you ask me. I forgot to get Glaze on this, so let me just get that. Fighter Plane is pretty decent for more Potting Power. Alright. Well, then let's get the Fighter Plane then. Also, Regrow... Regrow Greens. I'm gonna have to... No. Okay. That should be enough. Let me just try to get up another bank while I'm at it. I should have been getting this a lot earlier. Yeah, I think I'll... Lower the quality for tomorrow's stream for sure, because we're going really, really late game. I just want to test 720p. That's why. Do the missiles disappear when you upgrade to ODS? No. I actually uh, did use OBS a couple times. And it did not... Uh, the fighter planes were still there, which is great. Um, here's another... More camos. The fire spawned in the wrong path, so I'm going to leak lives. Uh, am I? Yeah. <laughs> like two lives or so, but that's fine. Yeah, we can get another monkey bank up. And then maybe a mob mauler at the front. I should probably drop a village down as well. Or maybe an alchemist, I don't know. Again, this map is pretty easy, so I can literally do anything. Like, I can place a boomerang over here, and I'll be fine. Trust me. <laughs> Never leaking as much as Tyler. Well, I have actually leaked a, a lot of times, like, while playing this game. So maybe not quite. I'm gonna just get a quick mob mauler out. Hopefully I can afford it by the time round 40 comes. Because if not, then... Um, I may have to cash out for my bank. Come on. Keep going, rainbows. Give me that cash monies. It's 100. $20 short. <laughs> well, I guess this, uh, doing this did come back to bite me in the butt. So, let's not do that again. Is the Ninja Saboteur worth it? Yes. You will see in Friday's video. So I'll have a video uploaded after the stream and then another one Friday morning. That one will be um, something where you can see the Ninja Saboteur in action. And let me just say it's really, really good. Okay, I'm going to get an ODS now. Let me see if I have enough to catch on my bank. Okay, 7k. So a couple more rounds to go. Also, one, thing, one good thing about the bank is that you can... Press collect all, so if you're lazy, you can just collect everything from your bank at once, which is great. Alright, camo, rainbows... Is this... am I alright? Oh, yeah, very nice. I'm probably gonna need some more camo popping power, though. Because going by with this is definitely not enough. 
Our bank's good. They're just very efficient if you leave them in the bank. If you leave them sitting for a very a very long time. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get a village over here. I don't care. Oh, there it is. It's, if it's beeping, it means you have enough to cash out. So 40k for the sky shredder over here. We cannot afford it yet, so I'm gonna get a glue gunner up because I need XP. This is the only fifth tier I'm missing, guys. Let me just get up a super monkey as well. Let's just put it on strong, just in case we need some more pumping power. And yes, now we'll save up for 40k for our fourth tier, fifth tier monkey ace. I wonder if we can get that before round, uh, round 60. What's the worst hero? Probably Olbin. But I haven't looked ex extensively into it. Yeah, this ace has good more popping power, but it's not too reliable. Because, you know, it doesn't seek, aside from the anti moab missiles. The third path of the ice tower, the, the, uh, the cryo cannon. I've tried that a couple times before, but for some reason, it didn't seem to do very much. As for fourth and fifth tier banks, I don't think this is like, I think this is very, very situational. So it gives you $10,000, but you have to pay it back over time. So in the end, you literally gain zero money. Unless you use that money to invest into more farms. So I don't know how effective that is. That, that would literally be the only time where it's useful. I have nothing to say, but throughout the stream, I'll give more bits. Alright, well thank you for starting off the day, Ardents, for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. How much do I have in this bank? 6k. Sorry, yeah, 6k, yes. So, a couple more rounds. I hope I can be fine with this for now, this kind of defense. Syro? Well, apparently in another video where I said Syro, it was it was incorrect. It's actually C-R-Y-O. You know, let me just double check over here. Cryo, yeah, it's Cryo. Don't worry, I made that same mistake too in the past. Well, now you know. The game will not come out to PC for a while, so if you're gonna wait till it comes to PC, then yeah, you'll be waiting for a very long time. Hard modes after this? Yes, yes. I just want to show a fifth tier tower. So we're gonna get that Sky Shredder really, really soon. Let me just see. Let me just see where we are at. So I can collect for 10k. If things get bad, I will upgrade to a Plasma. Like, if I can't afford 40k in time. Let's see. That's a lot of ceramic balloons. Yeah, it gives you 10k, but you have to pay it back over time, which I don't think is very good. Let me just see how much I have right here. 20k to go now. I can almost collect from this one. Let's see if I can defend round 50 fine. Come on. What does this thing do? I actually have no idea. Because look at this very, very descriptive descriptive uh, caption. The blues will wish they have never come. Alright, well, that tells a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Tooltip. Yeah, banks are way better than facility, guys. I'm telling ya. Like, the facility costs basically five times the amount of banks. But it gives you... It doesn't give you that much money. It barely gives you more than a bank does in a round. Like, so if you're patient enough to wait to fill up to like 10k or 12.5k, I actually have monkey knowledge that I can go up to 12.5k, my banks. So that gives me more money per round, essentially. Oh, we got $37,000. So let's sell some towers. 39. All right. 3, 2, 1, Sky Shredder. What is it going to do? All right. Let's see how many darts there are. I can't tell. It looks like 32 darts at once. And shooting a lot faster than the ODS. But is it worth $40,000? Is that the question? Let's try to ride as far as we can go with the Sky Shredder. Because I do not know how good it is. I also don't know if this thing popped leads. Does it? Oh, well, we'll see. We will see. <laughs> but here's the Sky Shredder, guys. $40,000 into one upgrade. Shooting out about 32 darts at once. It one-shots Moabs? Are you talking about this thing? Are you talking about the fighter plane? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It is it is one-shotting Moabs. Are you kidding me? 
I don't know if that's upgraded because of the fifth tier or if that's because of the third tier. Fight stuff. But yeah, slow down. Whoa, whoa. I, yeah, I just saw that. I didn't even know. Let's watch. Come on. Anti mullet missile shoot. Wait, I didn't even see it. Wait, I didn't see anything come out. Let's wait. Let's let's wait till the next like next Moab. Yeah, it literally got one shot. I I didn't even notice. Let me just sell these towers actually. Let's see how far I can go with only this Sky Shredder and Gwendolyn. It's also not in quite. It's not in the most optimal spot. Should I sell it for um a better spot? Let's watch. Anti mode missiles. Yes, it does one shot it. Okay. So it's. A lot more powerful than it seems. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more powerful than it seems because I thought that all it did was shoot out uh, twice as much darts and at faster speed, but no, 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 no. Uh, it's also apparently doing two layers of damage because you see this? The yellows are popping to blues and you see no greens at all, so that probably means it does two layers of damage, which it looks like. Okay, okay. This thing is definitely worth 50, 40k then. Alright. Well, I'm definitely going to bring this uh, to the late game attempt tomorrow. That is for sure. Probably kills BFBs very quickly. Well, we will see. I also forgot to collect my bank. Let's collect that. And you know what? Um, I can get this. MIB. Let me get a call to arms just to make this thing even more stronger. Let's try to get the strongest Sky Shredder we can. The strongest. Is this round going at all? Wait, what's going on? I think I found a bug, guys. There's no balloons coming out. It's on fast forward. Um, what do I do? Oh, okay, okay. Apparently, I stopped the round. That doesn't make sense. I have auto start on. Huh. Well, I guess there's still a lot of bugs that Ninja Kiwi has not figured out yet, such as the infinite zero zero dark free dart monkeys. Which, yes, I did see on Tyler's stream. I may have to try that out for myself, but I have not harnessed the power of the 0, zero, zero Dart Monkey yet. So it will not be as strong. Yes, I also placed a... Let me do this. Monkey Business. Does this make the MIB cheaper? No, no, no. It only goes up to third tier, so that's kind of a waste. Let's get Jungle Drums for this one. Alright, I think it does pop leads. Wait, no, no, I have him on B. What am I talking about? Eh, we can check in sandbox mode after. Yeah, imagine never miss targeting with 32 darts. Unfortunately, you can't get that because that's uh, the third path. Alright, let's watch the BFB. Will it one shot the BFB? Here comes the missiles. Not quite. Two shot. Three shots? Yes. Three shots to BFBs. Alright, that's not bad. Not bad for 40k. Let me just see how long it can solo for. Uh, free play. Yeah, let's go into free play now. How far can we go? And then after this, we will play a harder map. I'm thinking chimps mode. Yeah, I'm thinking chimps. We're gonna do chimps after this. So this is not quite the hardest map on the hardest game mode. We are just trying to see the fifth tier. Monkey is also for some reason is dropping darts. Why is it doing this? I didn't- I didn't upgrade at all. I cannot tell if this is a bug. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, guys, guys, guys. Look. Top left corner. There's a surround balloon stuck. Stuck in place. Well, I think I got- I, I think I found a bug, guys. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> We found a bug, guys. I don't know what to do. The ceramic is stuck here. And it's not getting popped. What if I do what do I do if I do a ninja over here? Oh my god, Ninja Kiwi. Ninja Kiwi. <laughs> Did they not discover this bug in uh, beta or while they were testing? Or is this just some random bug that somehow happens on release? Yeah, because look, look at the <laughs> Look at the circle. It's just it just keeps on piling up and up with darts. The map is frozen in place. Guys. Holy crap. Close and re rejoin. Okay, let's do that. 
Well, that is just, that is something I certainly did not expect coming into this. Let's continue and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, Ninja Kiwi coding. Still coming back to haunt them in 2018. No, it's probably something they didn't notice um, when it came time. <laughs> when it came time to like release the game, they probably didn't notice that this was a bug at all. Anyway, start back round 61. Let's hope, let's hope that it does not do that again. Yeah, because it doesn't leave. It never, never ever left darts on the track in a circle like that. It just, for some reason, froze in place. So, I'm gonna call the arms. We're gonna get the strongest sky shredder we can. Let's see if we can get to like round. I don't know. Round 80. I think this can beat a ZOMG by itself, especially with the um, the missiles over here. Yeah, they're one-shotting the Moabs. It should not be too hard. It's one-shotting the Moabs, and it's three-shotting the BFBs. So if you do the math, then it will 15-shot the uh, ZOMGs, I think. Because I'm assuming that the, the health on this game is 200 HP for Moabs. 700 HP for BFBs. And then... Yeah, 1700 for, 700 for BFBs and then 4000 for ZMGs. And apparently the BAD balloon is. Uh, how much? It's 20,000 health? Also, round 63, am I gonna die here? Guys, let's see if the Sky Shredder's got this. Okay, that was actually pretty close. So its main issue is brute popping power. Like, if I die here, it's gonna be whatever, because I'll just restart. Yeah, it doesn't look have it, it doesn't look like the sky shredder has a lot of popping power. I might just die here. I think I'm dead. I'm not going to do anything cuz I just want to see how good it is. Yeah, we're dead. So, not quite round 80. Let's see how strong it is versus blimps then. Let's go back to the same map on sandbox mode. Oh, you can't unlock sandbox mode on medium unless you play reverse. Yeah, rip round 63. So the Sky Shredder is good versus Moabs, but uh, not quite versus a lot of balloons. So it's immune to the Tyler catchphrase. Alright, I'll keep that in mind come tomorrow, but let's hop into sandbox mode over here. Let's get up another thing over here. Yeah, the thing is, once you get camera detection, you would want this one. Oh, I think that's what that's what's doomed me. That what That's what's doomed me. That that game. I got the second path, which does not have um, sharper darts. Because instead of eight darts, it was popping, it only popped four. So with sandbox mode, we can test. So let's try round 63. Come on. Wait. My keyboard is not showing up. Guys, my keyboard is not showing up. <laughs> I can't do anything. I'm not pasting on my clipboard in case I put confidential information. Yes, okay. Okay, my, my phone is bugged. Huh. Okay, let's do it manually then. Let's do it manually. So... Wait, fuck. <laughs> I can't change any of this. Okay. I'm just gonna spam as many surroundings as I can. The BTD5 way. This is good enough, I guess. Yeah, this is definitely good enough. Not quite as clumped as uh, round 63 over here, but good enough. I think that is enough surrounds to, to look at, but yeah. All right, so I just needed the this path over here. So you want a 502 ace, not a 520 ace. <laughs> okay, good to know for next time. No, the thing is I cannot press anything on my keyboard. Like the keyboard is not showing up. So I don't want to I don't want to touch that. Let's just do one of them then. Let's try ZOMG, which I didn't get to last time. So we're just gonna do a, a plain 502 ace without any monkey aces, no boosts whatsoever. Let's see how it does. I mean for forty thousand dollars it should be able to like solo a ZOMG. At least I hope. Like some towers won't be able to solo ZOMGs, but it looks like this one can. Very close to. It just needs help with the... yeah. Just needs help with the, the balloons. So I'm going to leak like 
less than 100 lives there, so it's actually not bad. Just get like a cannon in the back, and then you're good. You're good to go. Now let's try DDT. Does this thing pop leads? It does. Well, the missiles pop leads. Yeah, the missiles pop leads. Let's try a BAD. I know this is not gonna kill it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying, but let's just see anyways. Select one and copy that. Well. I've already done the ceramic, so I will keep that in mind next time I go into sandbox mode. I leaked 71 lives? Yeah, that's not bad. Like, if you just get a cannon at the back, you will be able to solo the ZOMG, essentially. Which is great. Oh, it's actually doing a lot of damage to the BAD. Like, this alone can actually pop the BAD, I didn't know. Holy crap. Again, it just needs help with the innards. I didn't know it took it down that quickly. I thought it was gonna, like, get to... Get to, like, the last corner over here, but it's actually doing a lot of work. Holy crap, this thing is good for its price. $40,000? Yeah, this is actually... This is actually a good fifth tier upgrade, guys. Like, compare this to Grandmaster Ninja, which I bought in a video earlier. Which I thought was good. But this is... This is basically the same price. And look what you get. Look, look at what kind of power you get from it. Jeez. Alright, I think that is enough. That's a great tower. Let's play chimps mode. <laughs> Let's play chimps. Because I did mention the hardest game modes over here. Hold on, let me just get a drink over here. You can't get two fifth tiers? Yeah, I know. Also, if you're watching over on YouTube over here, all you 400 people here, I'm not surprised we got that this many. Thank you all for tuning in today. If you want to watch on Twitch as well, because I am streaming from there. Link is over there. Anyways. Yeah, let's go chimps mode. We're going to play Monkey Meadows. Because I unlocked chimps mode on that one. Hard. See, I just beat in pop mode. Chimps mode. If you don't know what chimps mode is, just wait. It will show you what it, what it is. Anytime now, after this loads. Can you buy 10,000 cash in-game? Yes. Alright, this is a true test of a BTD Master. No continues, hearts lost, income, monkey knowledge, powers, or selling. So yes, you cannot use any powers, no monkey farmers, nothing. You can't even use farms as well. So, you also get hard, you get hard difficulty tower costs. So what I want to start off with, I think this is probably the best popping power you get for its price. So let's put one here, let's put two actually. Two o o o dart monkeys. We're also starting at round six. I also did not change from Gundolin, which I think should be fine. Anyways, I also have auto round start on, which I think should not be a big deal. I hope not. I sincerely hope not. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see how far I can get with just these two o o o dart monkeys. If anything, I'll upgrade, like, Attack Shooter. Like, this is a really, really good spot for Attack Shooter, I just noticed. Unfortunately, it does not have very good range, so I need to get range on that. You know, I might just do that. Screw that. I want to get it back here, because balloons. It's actually shooting right now, which I might not have to upgrade. Nah, I'm, up I'm upgrading. Long range attacks. Boom. I think I want to get a Blade Shooter over here. Since I already got the long range tax, I've already I've already got the second path over here, so I can only choose one more of these. I think I might want to go for, I don't know, faster shooting. I think faster shooting is more reliable over here. I'm also going to turn off auto start because this is chimps mode. I want to take it slow. And since you cannot gain any income from this, I think the way to go is monkey monkey town. So what this upgrade does is it gives you 50% more cash. For each pop which is perfect i also realized yes no selling so unfortunately i am this this tech over here is not going to be in range of the village i should have thought about that earlier uh whatever you know yeah yeah i'm gonna get gwendolyn right now i need gwendolyn need to level her up as quickly as possible all right round 12 now yeah, we're doing we're doing fine right now. No, so far, no balloons have gotten like past this 
oh, oh, Dark Monkey, like, to the right of its range. I might have spoken too soon. But, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Thankfully, they popped to Red Balloons. Okay, this is dangerous. Let's get faster shooting. Oh, man. I am treading on some very, very thin water over here. Maybe I should upgrade these Dark Monkeys. Wait, the 150% cash doesn't work? Um, but Tyler just tried it yesterday, and it works. So, I'm gonna go for that. Well, I'm gonna go for a village either way, because there's discount upgrades, which is very, very worth it. Um, let me see if I have to upgrade. Oh my god. Crap. Well, I didn't want to restart that early, but... Let me just try again. <laughs> the discount still works. Well, I'm gonna try Monkey Town either way. Because I was watching the stream yesterday and it did, it did work. It did work. Okay, so we need to upgrade um, our Dark Monkey. Quick shots, sharp shots. Let's get a triple Dark Monkey, actually. Very quick shots, triple darts. And then we can... Wait for Gwendolyn over here. Yeah, that should be better. Hopefully, I did not mess up this early game because I cannot sell towers. So, like, if I ever get to a round where I need to sell something, then I can't. Like, if I already spent all my money, then I am screwed. I am basically screwed. Oh, man. Pink Moon's coming in. Oh, my God. Alright, this, this defense sucks. Should I just try again? Oh, thank you for the Twitch Prime subs, Swampy11. Enjoy your emotes. Okay, I'm starting all over. I fucked up. Yeah, I messed up. Let's try Chimps Mode again. So, Chimps Mode, overwrite the save over here. Maybe I have to start. Maybe I'll get a triple dart monkey. That's what I have to do. I have to get stronger towers. Um, I just want to get in range. Ah, screw it. This probably doesn't work. This does not work, does it? Uh, yeah, let me get faster shooting on this thing. I think this will do the most damage because it will use every single. It will use all eight tacks in its radius. So let's get that faster shooting up next round. Had to restart because my first strategy did not do very well. Okay. Three more dollars until I get faster shooting over here. Sweet. And should I wait for $325 for this upgrade? I think I should. Um, these balloons are getting pretty far though. I might have to get super range tax, but this is so expensive. $245. I don't care. I'm getting quick shots up. I also have to be careful for round uh, 24. Because camel balloons, and I think I want to get for this one up here. Because if I get down here, then my triple darts won't have a lot of pierce. Also, what's up? Uh, little no pound. Haven't seen you in a while. Supply drops? Those won't give you money either. Nothing will give you money, aside from uh, village discounts. That will save you money. It won't give you money, so that's why it works. Yeah, let's get a triple dart monkey up. As soon as possible. Here's a yellow bloom coming in. Thankfully, we got sh uh, very, very quick shots over here. Well, my favorite hero, as you can see, is Gwendolyn over here. Gwendolyn is definitely the best for late game. Unfortunately, it is the most expensive, so you might have to suffer for a while in the early game before you get it up. But once you get her up, things will be very, very, very easy. So, yes, also in Chimps you do not get money for the end of the round. So, yes, early game is even harder now that that is in the mix. Because at this point, I probably would have been able to afford Gwendolyn, but I cannot. Rubber to gold does not work, no. Neither does, uh, thing to gold. 
Okay, now we got triple darts. And we should be good versus any strong balloon over here. And I think we can go for Gwendolyn right now. $970. Actually, wait. I'm not sure if I'll be able to afford Gwendolyn and her ability, which allows you to pop the camel balloon. So I'm not sure. Hold on. I might not have to upgrade this. Okay. Whatever, I'll wait. I'll wait until we get into the real danger over here. If anything, I'll just upgrade to more camel balloons. It just means the dart monkey will not pierce a flood of balloons. Which kind of sucks. But that's okay. Let's play round 17 out. Sorry guys, if I'm not reading on chat very much, that's because I'm focusing on this game over here. Round 18. Yeah, we're still a long way to go to Gwendolyn. Jeez. Jeez. Some more bits. I'll donate the rest tomorrow. 100 for every 100 rounds. Alright, thank you for the another 100 Ardent. I appreciate it. Let me just start round 19. Gwen will level up fast enough? Um. Oh shit, Rigo, 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 uh. Rigo, yellows. I'm gonna have to restart this. Come on. Uh, okay. <laughs> that kind of sucks. One hundred for every one hundred rounds. Well, tomorrow we'll see how many rounds I can get to. I think Rohan said he got to round three hundred. So, and it was not on. It was on not on easy map either. So, so yeah, let's get long range darts. Actually, screw it, long range. I'm going for this path because I need the longer range, just so I can get more of this path down here. Let's see how much easier it does now that it thing. Yes. Okay. We can defend it. Alright. Round 20 now? Oh god. No. This is not good. This is not good. Come on. I'm gonna have to restart this. Let's see if it pops the slow balloons. Okay, good, good, good. Never mind. Never mind! It was able to pop all the slow balloons. <laughs> well, thank you for the $6, lol, no pound. Well, the vacation debt was for the vacation I went on a couple weeks ago, which did cost a little more than six dollars. But thanks for the six. Thanks for the six, man. Appreciate it. Let me get up Gwendolyn right now. I actually almost died right there. Holy crap. Let me put it over here. Let me put it right over here. Please place. Yes, let's continue. So Gwendolyn, you unlock her fire thing at level level three. We will get level two right now, and we actually might get level three before round twenty-four. Okay, this is good. This is good news. But I need Gwendolyn over here. Hopefully, I can defeat round twenty-one. Fine. Please get level three. Yes. Okay. Wait, it's still on cooldown. Shit. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's got a cooldown just like the other abilities. You're about to stream this, are you on Steam? I am not. But if you're still streaming it, I'll drop you a raid. If you're on Twitch, anyways. Let's continue. I think I want to get a village next, if I, if the game will allow me to do that. It will take a while to get up though. That's my only issue, purple balloons come in. Uh, let me just drop down a cocktail of fire over here. This thing is actually really good, so I'm not sure if I just wasted it on that. If anything. Yeah, exit to the main menu before you die. I'm going to get a blade shooter up. I'm not comfortable with this defense. So we got blade shooter, triple dart, and Gwendolyn over here, which should be enough. Come on, blade shooter. Please come up already. Gwendolyn does not have camel popping ability. Her only popping power ability, uh, camo ability, is with the ability down here. Both abilities, actually. But you don't get the second ability for a very, very long time. So I'm gonna have this one ability only, but it's actually a really good ability, so I don't mind. So yeah, we got our we got our attack shooter down right now. Let's wait. Let's wait for a village. We need to get that cheaper cheaper stuff for sure. And I am going to get a I'm going to get a monkey town because I know it works. 
I know somebody said it doesn't work, but I'm inclined to believe it works because I saw it on stream literally yesterday. Literally just yesterday. Let's see if I can defend these. Yeah, this 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 blade shooter, man. So good. So good. Let's get a Let's get a village where it can be in range of as many towers as possible. So over here. Boom. Okay, and I need monkey business right now. And then that will save me a lot of money. Yeah, I don't know about Druid. It's kind of it's kind of a good early game tower, but aside from that, it kind of sucks. I don't know. I haven't played it very much. So yeah. So yeah. Let's get Monkey Town right now. We got round 33 coming in with camel balloons. I may have to drop a cocktail over here because camel pinks. I don't know if this dart monkey over here can handle all of them by itself. We will see. Okay, it does. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Looks like the faster shooting does actually help it out a lot. So let's keep going as far as we can until we can, you know... I actually don't know what to build next. Maybe a fifth tier ace, because I showed you guys. It was legit... Legit OP, but I want everything in the range of this village so that it can get the bonus. So that may not be... That may not work. Sorry. Uh, what do I get? Should I just wait for a super monkey? <laughs> it's $2,500. Yeah, it's $2,700 for the super monkey over here. But I know super monkeys are very, very space efficient. So... Yeah, let me try saving for that. It's going to be really risky. I know. But... I'm gonna say I'm gonna say worth. Let me see if these camel balloons or these rainbow balloons over here can defend everything. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we're gonna get that super monkey very, very soon. Get an early super monkey for Moabs. It's actually the zero zero super monkey is actually really good in this game, or at least better than uh, other uh, camels. Camel greens coming in. I'm just gonna drop that in because these pink balloons are lots of balloons to handle. And I should be able to handle these pinks as well. Come on. Alright, I'll be able to afford the Super Monkey very, very soon. This round, right over here. Alright, let's drag this guy. Oh no, he doesn't fit here. Oh no, 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 no. That doesn't... That's not good. Over here. Alright, good enough. I don't know if I want to get this guy to a Robo Monkey or a Sun... A Sun Avatar. Either way, I don't know. Is Glaive Lord the same? Uh, I haven't used it, so I will see. Yeah, the 0, zero super, super Mark, guys. Um, drop this thing down for camos. Dude, that thing is so good. <laughs> I literally do not have to do afford camo detection at all. Except for this guy. I'm gonna need it soon, though. So, yeah. Okay, round 38... I don't, uh, I'll need camo protection for round 42, that's for sure. Go for the Robo Monkey? Alright, let's do that. Let's do that Robo Monkey thing. Let's also get Plasma, uh, Laser Blast while we're at it. Let's get that thing up. So, round 40 is next round, that's when the mob comes. I think the Laser Blast alone will be able to handle it, I am not sure. I really hope it does. I'll get extra range for this, if I have enough money to afford this by the end. Come on. One range upgrade. I think this should be enough, along with Gwendolyn's ability. So I have that as well. I got two things. Yo, I can't farm because this is chimps mode. Chimps. You notice, if this thing is disabled, then that means it's chimps mode. Okay, I might have to restart here if the plasma is not enough. This will be very tight, because the blade shooter did literally nothing there. But I think it's good enough. Alright. Yes! Alright. Super Monkey is not bad in this game, guys. Super Monkey OP. Um, yeah. Raider Scanner. You know what I wanted to do was get two villages here so I can get an even further 10% uh, discount. But unfortunately, I cannot sell, so I don't want to put another village in the range of this village. I want to put as many towers in here as possible. Chimps mode is no continues, powers, knowledge, literally anything that gives you an advantage. Camo Rainbow is just in time because we got a camo village. Awesome. So, let me get Monkey Commerce up after this round. 
Actually, let me get faster shooting on this. I think that'll help a little bit. Drop this down for the ceramics. Yeah, I need to get Plasma Blast first. Plasma Blast will be able to defend basically everything. Does the Zero Zero Village do anything? Yes, it gives you plus 10% range on every tower in its radius. I would prefer 10% sellback, but... I mean, 10% cheaper towers, but fortunately, that, that is not the case. It's not the case. Alright, 540, we got... We did 10.8k, alright. But I think I'm gonna get Plasma Blast first. This is 4600. What's the best value for monkey money? Farmers. Farmers. No doubt about it. I also realized plasma balloons are purple balloons may be an issue because I only have the blade shooter and the star monkey over here for purples. This plasma blast will not will not do anything to it. Neither will Gwendolyn, sadly. Farmers suck. Well, with the monkey knowledge upgrade, you can actually get more range on those. You can get more range on your monkey farmers. I don't know how much more range because it didn't say. All I know is that, yes, you can get more range. Um, what do I want to get? Should I just get a Kylie Boomerang over here? Maybe just to help with, like, purple balloons for now? Come on. Please place. There we go. Put this on strong. Glaives. I just want this thing to pop purple balloons, that's all. And this will be helpful late game as well. Because, um, this thing can push back Moab class balloons. Except for the bad. I don't think the bad can be pushed back or slowed down at all. So just let you know that. So the Kylie, the Kylie boomerang over here, it, it basically just shoots a boomerang in a straight line and comes back. Yeah, these camo, uh, these camo purples are popped very easily by it. So let's go for that thing now, Monkey Town. All, all monkeys within the radius of the Monkey Town get extra cash per balloon pop. So I believe it's 150% again. Let me just get a drink over here. <sighs> Alright, round 49. I think these... I think the plasma should be fine until we get the monkey town up. Let's just keep waiting. Well, right now BTG6 seems like more fun because, you know, it's a new game and all. Right now BTG5 has more content, obviously, because it's been out for 7 years. But, I gotta give it to BD6, man. It's a good game, aside from the bugs and all. Aside from all the bugs. So, we can get our Monkey Town very, very soon. 10.8k. Purple's immunity is for Heat, Plasma, um, Magic. So, this is Magic. This is Magic. Yeah. Wizard is Magic. Druid is magic. Although I think Druid's main attack can still be popped by a thing. Okay, on round 51, we should be able to afford it. Lots of Camel Ceramic Spoons this round. No big deal, because we got this thing. I also realized... Um, we don't have an MIB for DATs anymore. But I think since, since we have um, Super Monkeys, that won't be a big deal. Or at least I hope not. Am I still doing the late game stream? It is going to be tomorrow, guys. 20, 27 hours from now. Stay tuned for that, because it's going to be a very, very long stream. I can tell you that. I'm going to start from round 1, and see how far I can go. Um, also, yes. <laughs> this, this, this ability over here, or this upgrade, gives you free Dark Monkey every round. I'm going to buy it. Maybe this will be bugged, because I saw this was bugged uh, last... Uh, in the stream yesterday. But you can get a free OOO Dart Monkey every round. So let me just drop that guy down in the front. It act It's actually worth it, guys, in this game mode. Because th think about this. It costs $3,000 to buy it. And in return, you get a $200 Dart Monkey every round. So do the math, and in about 15 rounds, you'll be able to make back the cost. So, like, we got 40 rounds to go, so this will give me 40 free Dart Monkeys for the cost of 15. You gotta love discounts, man. You gotta love discounts. We're getting a Robo Monkey right now. We didn't get one of each Super Monkey, actually. So, one Robo Monkey, one Dark Knight, and then one Sun Avatar. I think that's the best way to go about it. Let's get that thing up. 
I think the line of sight just shows you where where or where not you can place place uh, stuff. So let's drop some more monkeys at the front over here. I think this is a bug. Oh wait, no, no. <laughs> there was a bug where you can place infinite free dark monkeys. I want to see if I can uh, replicate that, but I don't know. I don't know if that works. <laughs> also, yes, this monkey town is giving me more cash, guys. If you didn't notice, I'm getting mad money right now. So to whoever said that it doesn't work, well, uh, it does work. It does indeed work. You believe the bug only applies after round 80? Alright. Well, let's keep waiting then. We're almost there. Round 57. Yeah, you can't use agents here either, which is basically powers in this game. Yeah, honestly, the village is really, really good. Like, the monkey town over here. Monkey Town is basically 100% must in this game mode. Although I I reckon on some maps, like like hard advanced slash extra map, it's going to be basically impossible to beat champs mode. Just because you won't be able to fort that Monkey Town in time. Plus the early game will wreck your shit really hard. And you cannot, you can literally not buy any IAPs or anything to help you out. So that thing's gonna re re remain impossible. Don't worry, I'm saving up all my dark monkeys for for the next couple rounds. You know, by actually placing the dark monkeys right now, I actually lose money because these things only give me one cash per pop. These things over here give me 1.5 cash per pop. Let's get more range on this thing. We can put this robot monkey on strong now. We can even get a tech terror, which I might get. Epic range. Again, let's just get one of each super monkey over here. I'm gonna get the strongest towers I possibly can, guys. So, let's get that BFB coming in. And get our third super monkey up. This is gonna be a dark knight. I might even get a dark champion if, if I have enough money to do that. So... This needs to be, be, be put on strong. Plasma Blast, it won't have a lot of range, but that's fine. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. I don't know, Quincy's alright, but... I like Gwendolyn. Can I sell Gwendolyn? No, I can't. Let's get Knockback. Ultra Vision, not really useful because this thing already detects camo. But... Yeah, the thing with these Super Monkeys over here is that I don't need... Um, the MIB for DVTs, so I'll be fine with this. Now it's probably time where I want to think about what I want to build. As in, what the hell do I want to build, like, within the range of this village over here? Because I don't have any space, like, up here anymore. I actually do have one space over here. Let me get a mob press up. Yeah. You will see how this thing does. This is actually really good for its price. Anyways, round 63, it's gonna lag a lot come late game, so I apologize if there's lag, but there is nothing I can do about it. My phone is not... It's only an S7. So it can only do so much. Yes, I am enjoying BTD6 right now. Yeah, Quincy can pop camo, but it's not really that big a deal. Let's get a Dark Knight right now. Yeah, I think we can afford 64k for a Dark Champion over here. So, uh, let's let's try to get that. I think these three Super Monkeys over here are enough for now. If you're getting a free Dark Monkey every round, you should use it to set a Super Plasma Fan Club. Uh, you know what? That's actually a good idea. But, I already placed my, my Dark Monkeys at the front of the track over here. And the issue is that... Uh, hold on. The issue is that the Plasma Monkey Fan Club only turns your monkeys into plasma if it's in range of the monkey. So I want to put the plasma in here, but I can't. Maybe I'll put it, put it up here once money is not an issue anymore. You know, I might. Let's just use our three, three dark monkeys, guys. I paid $3,000 for this upgrade, so I better get my money's worth. Better get my money's worth. Alright, here's another one. We've got a nice little army of 11 dark monkeys over here. Also lag. 
Yeah, free dart monkeys. Awesome. Awesome possum. All right. Yeah, these rounds are going to take a while. They're pretty. They're pretty boring. Yeah, they they used all the like Kylie guys. It just pushed the BFB right back, right back where it came from. Damn, we got a cool thirty six point eight k right now. Dark champion, then tech terror. Yeah, I might get a tech terror too. I can afford this right now, but it's not going to be useful. It's not going to give me extra power, which is what I want. I don't want to rely on like just abilities. Also, the Alchemist Monkey is really, really good. Just just letting you know. How is this a hard map? This is Chimps mode. So, uh... Change that and to an or. I meant to say... Uh, hard maps or game modes. And this game mode is the hardest, Chimps mode. Yeah, we can almost get our Dunk Champion. God. I wonder how much this village has given me in extra money. It doesn't say. But I'm guessing it's going to be a lot that they gave me. No, the Alchemist is really good. But I'm not going to use it because... Uh, because I don't have enough space within range of this village over here. Also, there might be a little issue with my phone in that it heats up. Right now I've been streaming for about an hour. And I plan to do two more hours. I don't want. I'm not gonna do a very, very long stream today, only because I have things to do after this. Gotta eat lunch and then shower and then head over to someone else's place later. So it's only gonna be a three-hour stream today. But again, tomorrow's stream is going to be the big one. So we're going to go for the highest round ever, starting from round one in about 20, 27 hours from now. So if you want to catch that, make sure to uh, sub, subscribe, enough selling out, let's continue, round 70. We can almost get our uh, Dark Champion, very close to getting it. Are you talking about this special mode over here? It goes to round 100, plus you have a bunch of other things you gotta deal with. Oh, Dark, dark Champion, okay, right. <laughs> I don't know what this does. We cannot see until uh, until the balloons get here, but right now they're just getting evacuated right at the start. So much for that. You know, let me actually get a Spike, spike Factory at the back here. Spike Factory is actually really, really good versus, versus DDTs. So I want to get that as far away from the village as possible while still in range of it. Yes, okay. So more treasure spike storm, bigger stacks, white hot spikes. Now this fifth fifth tier upgrade right now, I can use this if I wanted to, but I don't know how good it is. I have not tried this on sandbox mode. And I don't know if I want to try it on sandbox mode at all. Yeah, I should definitely change my profile picture uh, for YouTube and Twitch. I'm thinking about that right now, but I don't have the sprites for BTT6 yet. Right now, Ninja Kiwi is only giving me the base, uh, base tower sprites. So I kind of want to wait until we get, the, I get the actual sprite because right now I can only try it in game. Okay. Oh, uh, there's so much light coming in. Let me just check how much battery I'm at. 76. Oh shit. So I started off the stream at 93% battery. And by the way, I am charging. I am charging my phone. So I've lost about 15% in an hour. This does not bode well for the late game stream. But... But for this stream, it'll be fine. I'll probably end up at like 50% or so. Alright, Fortified Camo Surround Spoon coming in. I got so much money, I don't know what to do with it. Someone said Tech Terror. Let me just drop more free Dart Monkeys. I know they're not in range, but they'll be useful versus the more class balloons, if anything. In fact, let's just get some up here, since I'm not going to place it down anyways. Another one, and another one, and another one. Somebody said you can get it at round 80. Infinite, infinite Dark Monkeys. God, I can't wait to try that out. 
Nope, not, no, no, no bomb tower. Let's get a tech terror up, shall we? Yeah, tech terror. Cool. So we can use this in an emergency. We also got an anti balloon over here. Oh, I think this one. I think I saw this uh, SJB use this. This one just obliterates everything and it's radius. So it's like a tech terror ability, but in a huge radius and it does more damage. I might actually want to get that. Putting a lot of dark will like my phone. True. But hey, I want I wanna I wanna see the glitch. Let's just wait then. So I bought this Monkey City at around round 52. So if I'm able to place more than 28 Dark Monkeys on round 80, then yes, we will know it is bugged. Still on round 75 only. <laughs> Impossible ends at round 100, so does Chimps mode. Sarbama, uh, probably not this, probably not today, probably not right now, actually. Um, let me get more Super Monkeys, actually, I actually think these are really strong. Um, yeah, let's just f fill the entire, entire area with Super Monkeys. Oh, my phone is lagging, come on. Can a Super Monkey really not go in here? Come on. There we go, I found space. There we are. And round 76 should not be a big deal either. <laughs> yeah, S7 is a pretty underpowered phone, I might add. It's struggling a lot against... It's struggling a lot against late game over here. Plus, if I plan to do this, um, this late game stream, it might be an issue, but again, I mentioned that I had issues. I had issues with my phone, or one of the programs not syncing to my screen, so I have to do... I have to try streaming with another method. The other method I was planning to do was to stream with my phone screen off, which would conserve battery and hopefully conserve like the lag here. So hopefully that'll work by tomorrow. I'm gonna restart my computer and phone after this, after the stream. No, but uh, I, th I think the S7 will run fine. It's just if you're also like recording and casting your screen at the same time, that's what's gonna make it lag, so don't fret. Don't fret. This is just in my case, really. Dude, I have st I have so much money right now. God. And also the thing with lag is that it's making these rounds go a lot slower than usual. Lag makes the game slow down a lot, so I think this the late game attempt will take quite a while to do. Should I get a ninja? I did mention that the ninja was uh Fifth gear ninja. No, let's get an, let's get the fifth gear ace. Unfortunately, I'm going to move it away from away from this thing over here. So let me place it over here. I know you might be thinking, why am I putting this over here? Don't worry though. Let's get monkey town on this. We're gonna start a second monkey town over here. Oh, we can get two. We can get two villages for get to get two free dog wings every round if we really wanted to. But yeah. Um, sabotage supply lines did get nerfed, but there's an upgrade for the fifth tier ninja that is very very good, and I'll show you guys in a bit. Also, oh, holy crap, lag! Like the screen just freezes for like two seconds over here. If you turn down your brightness. Um, let me try that. Yeah, let me do that right after. Hold on. After this round ends. Yeah, this thing is going really, really slow. Like, we're on fast forward, but this does not feel like fast forward. Not at all. So, any time now. We still have to wait for one giant cluster of balloons to come in this round. He made a vid on the tier 5 tap sabo. Well, if you didn't see that video, then you will see, uh, you will see how it goes in this in this attempt because it's really really it's really really strong let me tell you that it actually saved me in an apopo run i tried on a media map you'll see that video coming out on friday anyways somebody said end of round sorry guys i might have to dox myself here oh nope all right 
nobody saw anything. Okay, our brightness is down. Hopefully this will make the game go a little better. So yes, I'm going to get a Sky Shredder over here. So I, I use this thing another time, if you didn't see. But it does so much damage to the wild class balloons. Like, just watch. Just watch. Not yet, because we still have to wait for it. We still have to wait for this to end. Why would I show that? Because I'm lazy. I'm lazy to edit it out. But yes, this is chimps mode. One life only. No, uh, no powers or anything. I also don't think you guys can notice the brightness either on my phone. Because it casts the same way. Yeah, it doesn't change anything on stream because I'm casting. Alright, 52k. Holy crap, we got so much money. Here's the Sky Shredder, guys. The anti mob missiles just do so much damage to the BFB. Oh my god. Let's get a ninja, too. Sabo. So, Grand Saboteur. Let's look at the description over here. Ability duration is longer, and mob class balloons spawn with less health during the sabotage. Auto start. So this costs 23.7k. And this is basically... This is a good ability. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that. Round 80's UMG coming in. Yes, thank you Gwendolyn for telling me. As if I didn't know. God. All these heroes' voice lines are like... Annoying as hell. Yes, the tier 5 ace does look very cool and is also very laggy. Because of all the darts on the screen. Like right now, giant leg spike coming on my screen. Right here. Yeah, the thing is, BTD, BTD6 does take quite a bit of power to run. So make sure you have a very good phone. Because I personally have an S7, and look how much it is lagging. <laughs> Although I am casting. I'm just going to try to see if we can get the infinite dart monkey glitch over here. Infinite dart monkeys. So somebody let me know if I have 28 dart monkeys on the map, because I am not counting. Yeah, this leg is ridiculous, and we're not even on round... 100 something yet. Oh my god. I don't know how tomorrow's tomorrow's stream is gonna go. Hopefully it is, is fine. But I don't know. Alright, more dart monkeys. Acquire more unharnessed dart monkeys. I believe this is more than 28, so we have experienced another glitch, guys. Two glitches in two games. So one of them is you get infinite dart monkeys past round 80. I don't know why, but... For some reason, it does. I guess you can play that on Ninja Kiwi Spaghetti. Awesome, level 63. At least 30, yeah, this is at least 30. <laughs> so yes, this is bugged, guys. We're gonna keep going. Let's get 50. Just to show you that it is it is indeed bugged. Let's make sure not to put use too much space. Oh, man. Another Dark Monkey, more. You know, I honestly should get a Plasma Monkey fan club. Probably not in range of a village over here. Actually, let me get Grand Saboteur first. This ability will be very, very useful come, like, very late game. I'm gonna get a village over here. Get it to Monkey City. Uh, actually, no. Get it to Monkey Town. Ugh, come on. Please place. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. Sell them to get leg free play? Uh, probably. Alright, you guys know it's glitched. You guys know it's glitched. I can't sell it actually. No, it's chimps. It's chimps. I can't sell it, guys. Oh no. I'm gonna have to stick with this leg. I'm gonna have to deal with this leg because I, I brought it upon myself. Anyways, let's get a Dark Monkey 2 Super Plasma Fan Club. Which monkey do I want to upgrade it to? This one? Yeah, let's get as many Dark Monkeys as possible in here. Another one. Oh my god, so much lag coming in. Lag overload. I really wish there was a way you could like tone down settings in this game. So that it runs a little more optimized. I I really hope I really hope to do that. 
Oh, yes, I can upgrade to like an S8 or an S9. But that's like a thousand dollars. I can buy a laptop with that price. Speaking of laptops, I am going to buy a laptop very, very soon. Which should hopefully allow me to stream at a higher quality as well. And make videos at higher quality. Uh, right now, I, I found a laptop on the market. But unfortunately, it is, it is temporarily sold out. So I want to wait for that to come back on sale. Unless I find another better deal. In which case, I'll jump on that. But yeah, let's get a Super Monkey Fan Club. Right over here. One, two, three, four. Longer range darts. Because range is good. Let's get an MIB on this one. Yes, we got all that stuff without farms. This is because we got the Monkey Town. We got two Monkey Towns. One back here for this ace over here. And then one at the front over here. What about blue stacks? Uh, I think that will also lag. I don't know. An iPad would probably be better because it's bigger and, you know, it could probably run games much better than a tiny little phone over here. I'm just playing on my tiny S7. So I knew this would be an issue coming in, but I just wanted to see how it would do. So like right now, if the game would run at actually actual full speed, we would probably be at around 90 or even 100 by now, but no. We're gonna have to keep on waiting. Just keep on waiting. Get the anti balloon. Um, how much is that? 97k. Uh, that's too much money, man. I'm gonna get a plasma fan club. Let's get an MIB over here. Let's drop some more free monkeys down here. Free dart monkeys. Another one, and another one, and another one. Yeah, they must be caught. They must. I must be getting lag because these OO oh, dark monkeys are too powerful. But they are on Hunter Star monkeys, so I don't know. I do not think they are very powerful. I don't think so. Yes, you can get one tier five of each path. So like for each tower, you can get three. You can get three upgrade paths, three tier fives per tower, one of each. I actually think the donation, uh, that part is better because you're only getting blocked out of the fast forward and, and the power. I think it's in a fine spot. Alright, ZOMG coming in. ZOMG incoming! Just trying to uh, copy, copy these uh, hero voice lines over here. Yeah, ZOMG, two ZOMGs incoming! Okay, right. It's round 85, I just remembered. And this is going to take forever to take down because this Kylie Boomer over here pushed it back. <laughs> oh my god, this game is taking so long. Along with freezing and whatnot, it's making it run like about twice as... Twice as slow versus usual. So yeah. I don't know what you're talking about guys. Monkey Meadows is a hard map. Just look how short it is. It only goes to do one loop, two loop, and then and then three loops. And it's gone. Yeah, any time now for this thing to die. Get a tier 5 Spectre, so like a, fi a flying fortress? You know, I might do that. Unfortunately, it costs $100,000. So even more so than the anti balloon. So I don't know if I want to go for that. To a camera over the phone, okay. That's a little nutty. No, I have a mid. Well, I have a spike storm over here. I have a bunch of towers over here that I can pop DDTs without the MIB, so I'll be fine. I also don't think modding is possible in this game, at least not yet. I'm sure somebody will find a way, but as of now, nobody has modded the game. So we cannot get 555 tier towers or anything like that. Although that would be pretty cool to see.
Yeah, right now the only issue is that we are getting lag. It's just my phone screen. It's just my phone that is a problem. It has nothing to do with my toaster laptop or anything. It's literally the phone screen. The phone just cannot deal with all this. All these moving towers. Because you see the dot monkeys? The zero zero dot monkeys? Sorry, the zero 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 dot monkeys I have here. I cannot sell them, but they are also moving, so that also adds to like frames that move. How much for plasma now? 54k. We need 24 more k. All right. All right. Can this thing die yet? Oh my god! This these rounds are taking so taking so long. Fifth tier ground zero. Yes. Oh, Sarbama. Yes, yes. I can show you that. But I'm gonna get a plasma monkey first. Well, the thing I, uh, is I am emulating my phone screen on my laptop, but the issue is I, I had another... Um, there was an app called SideSync where you can control your phone on your PC, which is what I want to do for this stream, but unfortunately it did not work. When I woke up today, I opened it up. It was not connected to my phone for some reason. So I had to resort to the way I would record videos, which, my, which, my, which would keep my laptop on, or which would keep my phone screen on. That is why it would cause lag, so much lag over here. Sorry guys, I don't like lag either, but we're gonna have to deal with it for now. I won't survive round 98. No, no, I will, man. I will survive with the Plasma Monkey fan club over here. Also, ZOMG's incoming. ZOMG's incoming. Sometimes it's faster to turn off fast forward when it lags. Well, it's definitely lagging a lot less, but... No, fast forward is still faster. It does cause more lag, but it is faster. Yeah, I got a spike storm for like round round 95 DDT, so I'll be fine, I think. In fact, I might even get multiple spike storms for that round. I got a bunch of abilities I can use too, so... Don't worry about it. Just by the anti balloon. Uh, again, guys, I am waiting for this upgrade over here. Ten more thousand to, do to go. Yeah, ten more thousand to go, and then we can afford it. I generally think that if I can get side sync to work, which would allow me to control my phone on my laptop, it will lag a lot less. Because I think I did try round 100 or something on side sync, and it was... There was, like, very, very little lag. Minimal lag. So let's cross fingers that it works for tomorrow. Because if not, then I don't think the late game streamer will work out as planned. Because if it's already lagging on round 88, I can assure you that round 200 is going to be hell. We can only hope. I mean, there's no reason it shouldn't work. It just didn't work all of a sudden. I think just one reboot of the computer should work. Should help just fine. Alright, zoom these. More, more fortified BFBs. Over here. I know for sure that I'm going to get to like round 300 or something like that. Round 300 is going to be a cakewalk to get to. Because apparently you can get to round 300 on a hard map. No issues whatsoever. Awesome. Alright, DDT's coming this round. Shouldn't be a big deal. We got our OO. We got our OO Darwin Easy here popping the camo lads. Which is pretty sick. Even this round is lagged too, which kind of sucks. My phone will die battery soon. That is true. But I think I can last one and a half more hours. Jeez. Yeah, those CTs didn't even get past the first band. We won't have to worry at all, guys. Don't have to worry at all. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die, guys. This, this round is too. This game is too easy. 
This map is too easy. And we, uh... We have Monkey Town for extra money, too. So, there's no way we're going to lose this game. There's also no way I'm going to lose this game because I can just restart if things look like I'm going to die. You feel like that Ace is a leg machine? That is true, but again, I cannot sell because I am chimps mode. I cannot sell the Ace because I'm chimps mode. That would probably help reduce the lag. In fact, I think that is the thing causing most of the lag at the moment because all these darts flying everywhere. Yeah. Not a good uh, combination if I want no lag. Oh, I can buy the Plasma Monkey Fan Club. Yes, yes. Let me just activate it right now if I can. Boom. Leg Overlord, but I guess it's worth it. I guess it is worth it. Just look how easily these things are going to take it down. Still so much lag, but at least they're not showing up on the screen. I also don't know how long this lasts. Wait. Oh, it actually affects the um, Dark Monkeys outside of the range. Okay, okay, okay. So I think it, it, it only affects up to a max amount. Let me count. Let's count how many... Let's count how many plasmas we got now. So we got at the bottom 6, 10, 12, 17, 21, 24, 27. Oh, it, it doubled out. Uh, 31. I'm gonna say about 40. Approximately 40. <laughs> Let's count again after we get this thing off cooldown. But it looked to be at about, about 40. It's 40? Alright. Looks like my counting was correct. Anyways. Holy crap. ZOMG's incoming. They're getting a little further now. So do I want to get something for it? Let's get more Spike Storms, actually. These things are really, really good versus DDTs and whatnot. So, let's buy this. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Moab Shredder now. Yeah, this leg is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Round 93 now. Move this out of the way. Does Primo Charge permanently charge Boomerang? I have actually not tried it yet. I'm going to have to try it um, another time. I think we have enough towers on the map for now. I also should not be getting Spike Factories. I don't know why I did this. This just causes even more lag on the screen. Yeah, this just causes even more lag. What am I doing? Oh, well. Well, those DDTs got evaporated. Yeah, my phone is literally on fire right now, guys. It is on fire. Let's check how much battery we got. 71%. Alright. So, we'll have enough battery for the rest of the stream, but... It's the lag that's the issue again. Does the heli glitch work? Good question. I actually tried it in sandbox mode. No, it does not work. You cannot place towers under it anymore after you move it. Ninja Kiri automatically patch that. So don't try it. Don't bother trying it. Because it will not work. Also, somebody mentioned uh, get a Star Bomba. I'm going to get a Ground Zero. Not yet, though. Because Ace does cause lag. I want there to be as little lag as possible. Alright, let's get another Plasma Monkey Fan Club. Just to get rid of all these UMGs over here. Let's watch how quickly they get evaporated. I also don't know if... If I get sharp shots over here... Does it actually pop more? Like the plasma? I'm not quite sure. And if, if I get quick shots over here, does it shoot more plasmas? I don't know. Let's just get it anyways. I will also show you my monkey knowledge points after this. After this game. But yes, so much lag. Will the Temple Sacrifice sell towers? Oh, good one, good one. I think it does, but... But at this point, it's kind of too late to get a temple. I probably should have gotten a temple, honestly. That would reduce the lag a lot. Yeah, that really would reduce the lag. Ah, uh, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, so much lag, guys. 
We're on round 94. Only about... Only about 20 more minutes to go, guys. 20 more minutes until we can beat this game. Come on. Hurry up and die. Please. Please. There's also a giant amount of lag every time the, the round ends. Or when I activate an ability. I know, right? The leg is a bigger threat than the ZOMGs. Gosh. I really wish this game had lower settings. I also just re restart my phone just to like get as little lag as possible. But apparently that didn't work. I'm gonna show you guys a ground zero actually. Can I afford it? All right, yes, I can. This thing saved my ass uh, when, I, when I used this in an impoppable game. Because I think I mentioned that I haven't I haven't found a tower yet that does infinite infinite popping power to balloons. A lot of is an ability, in which case um, the ground zero does actually do infinite popping power, which saved my ass on a certain round. You will see that in another video. For now, though, yes, round ninety five, five more rounds to go. I'll show you guys this um, on sandbox mode. I'm just gonna stick with this, uh, all these towers for now. I think that's fine. Let me just get a Sabo up. Another Sabo. Alright. You know, I wonder if I press, like, if I hide, if I hide the balloons on the left side, will that reduce the lag? Let, let's just see. Let's just do this. Hide all the, hide all the balloons. And then there'll be less things to, like, render and whatnot. Yeah, I'll make sure to do sandbox mode for sure for any of these things to test. Because there's no way I'm testing right now. I cannot. I got enough abilities on the map, though. The anti-bloon is worth it, but again, I cannot use it. I don't have money, first of all. Awesome. Alright, we're on the next round. I cannot tell if this is a little less laggy or not. Maybe you guys can tell. Can tell. Yeah, my phone is gonna blow the hell up after the stream. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to, like, not touch my phone's phone at all for the next, like... For a good hour or two after I end the stream. God. That's why I wish BTD5 was on Steam, so I would not have to endure this... This hell. Like, even though I have a toaster for a PC, it is still a thousand times more powerful than an S7, because... Obviously, it's a thousand times bigger, so... You put a lot more stuff into it. I know that's not how it works, but I'm just saying, in general. If you were to compare a phone to a PC, obviously a PC would run everything faster. Or at least it should. If you're do if you're pulling out comparable things, that is. Alright, we're closing out this thing. I don't think it made a difference. Let's let's activate Plasma Monkey Fan Club again. Try to get rid of these balloons as fast as possible. I'm probably gonna go for another one and a half hours, personally. Depending on how laggy it is. <laughs> right now, I know nobody wants to watch this lag fest over here. I understand. I understand your pain. So, the last three rounds are actually the hardest. 98, 99, and 100. So, I think I'm going to activate a lot of my abilities starting round 98. Just to get rid of the balloons as quickly as possible. I'm not going to showcase any more 5th tier towers in this one because... I don't want any more lag. This is as much as, as I'm going to show you guys. We're going to ride this out for the last couple of, uh... Last couple of things. Ugh. This lag, man. Oh, fortified zoom G coming in. You know, I'm, I probably should have used a... Grand Saboteur for that. Just to give it less health. But the good thing is that... 
the good thing is that this thing is fortified, so yeah. Using Apache Prime, and it is not very laggy. Yeah, let's let's try that. Let's try that after. But I want to show you. I, I want to think about another fifth tier sh tower I can show. Um, come on, anytime now. Please pop. Yeah, the thing with round ninety eight to one hundred, round ninety eight and round ninety nine is harder than round one hundred. But that shouldn't be even surprised. Because round 100 is literally just there to show you the BAD moon. It's not meant to be the hardest, the hardest map ever. It's just there to be, uh... Just there to show you the hardest balloon ever, not quite the hardest level. Compared to the other rounds. So I'm personally not surprised about that. Anyways, round, th round 98 is coming up right now. So I'm going to activate Grand Saboteur to give the balloons less health. Because there are a lot of balloons coming in. We're gonna activate Plasma Monkey Fan Club right now. All right, and let us go. Let's go. Let's get extra range on these things, just so we can actually shoot. Get these things popped a lot quicker. Come on. Yeah, notice how the ZMGs are getting spawned in like a partially damaged state. That is all thanks to the Grand Saboteur, which you can see on the right. Right side of the screen over here. But, yeah, I'm gonna drop my Ground Zero very soon as well. Once all these things turn into, like, mobs and whatnot. And once the ZOMG turns into, like, BFEs. The Ground Zero will actually clear me of a lot of lag. So, let's just watch. I'm gonna drop it right... Very soon. Once these things pop into Z Moabs. Actually, whatever. Let's do it right now. After all the balloons come on the screen, let's use it. Drop it. And. And. Boom. <laughs> well. So that was the. That was a ground zero. If you saw it. Because I did not see it. Because I didn't see nothing. You know, I probably should have saved it for all these balloons over here. That's... That's where the Ground Zero comes in handy the most. Alright, we're just going to use the Attack Terror right here. Use it. Boom. Uh... I guess that did something. I didn't quite see, but... Alright. I probably should have waited a little bit to use the Ground Zero in order to clear more of these mobs out. But, alright well, guys, only two more rounds to go. Holy crap. I was not kidding when I said the last 10 rounds would take 20 minutes. You thought I was kidding? No, I was not. Let's get some more Ground Zeros on the map. I need this. Clear out the map of, like, lag. I'm gonna have to wait though for that to come back, come back off cooldown. So yeah, Plasma Monkey Fan Club, activate, get rid of these DDTs over here. Get rid of them, so that we don't see them again. They're all fortified by the way, if you didn't know. Although you probably can't tell by the fact that there's like band-aids around it. Dude, you think this leg is painful to watch? Imagine how painful it is to play with this leg. Okay, round 100, yes, finally, holy crap. Holy crap. Uh, I, oh shit, I used the Grand Saboteur by accident. No, that does nothing against the bad guys. That does nothing. Whoops. Here's the BAD guys. The BAD balloon. Let's just activate a Spike Storm right now. Just to get up. Oh, wrong, wrong ability. Wrong ability, this one. Yeah, holy crap, this leg. Come on. I can't wait for this game to end. We're gonna play a very, very easy map after this, or a very low level. We're gonna play easy difficulties after this, because I'm, I'm not gonna deal with this any longer. I can't deal with this. <laughs> Lagging coming indeed. Holy crap. Can this thing die already? Please? Let's just use one Ground Zero, just to make it die a little quicker. So the thing with Ground Zero on this game is that... 
there's a delay in using it and in activating. It's like one to two seconds. In case you wondered. No, I'd prefer crashing over a leg like 10 times out of 10. Like, I cannot control this leg, guys. It's on, it's my phone. It's an S7. I can't do anything about it. Alright, here it is. Activate the Spike Storm. Get rid of the DDTs. And we got two more ZMGs to deal with. Should not be a big deal, because I have a Ground Zero. Once it turns into, like, BFBs and then Moabs, I'm going to get, I'm going to get rid of everything over here. Come on. Alright, activate right now. And... Uh, boom. Finally. So that's Chimps mode, guys. The hardest part about it is the lag. The end. Alright, let's play something that does not have any lag. Let's... Alright, we got our first Chimps map. Oh, someone said Monkey Knowledge. Let's show our Monkey Knowledge. Knowledge. I still have 12 unspent, so what I've, what I've spent most on is support over here because I wanted this sellback over here. You know, I hate the fact that 70% sellback. Yeah, look how smooth this is, guys. Look, it's literally just that game over here. It's going a lot smoother right now. But if you want to know my monkey knowledge over here, I've got faster abilities, faster reload. Selling more, more money, of course. More money. Magic, we got more monkey money wins from difficulties. Ninjas, sun avatars. Uh, military. I have nothing invested into primary. Nothing into powers. And one into heroes. And that is it. You want to see how much damage Star Bomba does? Okay, we're doing Star Bomba then. One moment. I'm going to just plunk my Twitch in the meantime. All right. Sarbama, let's go. So I've, I've, so far I've shown you guys the Ground Zero, which does delay damage. Let's show that first, actually. I'm gonna show you how the Sarbama does, or the the Ground Zero. Just a moment while we load into this game over here. We're gonna do the ground. We're gonna do the Sarbama showcase today. So, we're gonna start off with a ground zero, of course. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's see how much damage it does. Because I want to know. Uh, I also want to make sure, like, it doesn't do any damage. Uh, let's just try Moab. Drop it in. Okay. So we know it does at least 200 damage. Let me just get multiple, actually, so I don't have to bu keep buying and reselling. One, two, and three. Come on. Yes. No leg whatsoever. I like this. Let's try BFB. How much this does? I don't know exactly how much damage the Ground Zero does. Let's do one. Holy crap. It actually destroys the, the BFB. Alright. So it does at least 700 damage. The Ground Zero does 700 damage, guys. At least, I think. Let's keep dropping more down. 1, 2, 3, 4. ZOMG time. Let's drop one down. Uh, that did nothing. Two. So we got one damage down. Three. Four. Uh... I think we need five to pop it. So, I think it's 800 damage. Let's think about this. 4,000 health is the ZMG, I believe. And, uh... Yeah, it takes 5. Wait, no, more than 5. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. I was wrong. It might be exactly 700. I'm not sure. In which case, we need 6. Okay, we need 6. Holy crap. Wait, wait, whoa. I just destroyed those BFBs. No, no Moabs whatsoever. Anyways. That was a ground zero. Let's try a, a DT, actually. Oh, that one dis disappears as well. So it takes about five ground zeros to pop. To pop a ZMG. Six, actually. Six. Now let's see how much a Sarbama does against 
against a ZMG. Also, thank you Tomato Matt for the Twitch Prime sub. Enjoy your emotes, and thank you for the supports. And all right, let us send the ZMG. How much damage does it do? Let us see. Activating in three, two, one. Oh, it actually freezes the balloons in place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. On top of doing massive damage to it. And it almost killed it. So not quite 4,000 damage, but very close to it. So I'm guessing something like 3,000 damage. Hold on. It also immobilizes all the, the ZMG. Does it do it to one ZMG or all of them on the track? Let's use the second one. Oop, wrong one. Wrong ability. Boom, Sarvala. And, okay, two ZMGs... Two activated abilities and it is gone. Alright. Alright, that we know. Now let's try a bunch of group ZMGs. I need to sell this because the ability... I don't want to wait for the ability to come back on cooldown. Let's try... Somebody... Uh, yeah, somebody mentioned I cannot. Hold on. Let me try to get 11 here. Hold on. Copy. Paste. We can do 11. Alright. <laughs> Let's try 11 ZOMGs. Does this also stall them? Well, here you will find out. 11 basically Hyper Club ZOMGs. So we're dropping down right now. And yeah, it does freeze all of them in place. Let's, 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 let's count how long. So 3 seconds, 4 seconds, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 12. So it looks like 15 seconds. I don't know. I don't know if I counted too fast. I don't know. You'll probably see this if you, like, check on the video or whatnot. But let's drop another Star Bomb down. And yes, it does freeze it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Holy crap. That is actually really strong. Someone put a stop to Christian's indeed. I'm going to try BED right after this. Drop this down and... Two of them, yes. Two of them does disappear completely. So again, there is a delay to the Star Bomber. About... About 1 to 2 seconds. 15 seconds. 13 seconds. Alright. Anyways, let's see how much... How long it takes to take down a BAD balloon. Let's just wait for this thing to come off cooldown. Alright, 1 second. Alright, let us send out the BAD right now. Oh, my bad. I sent out 11. Let's clear that. Uh, how do I cut? Shit. Cut. Okay. Alright, one BED balloon coming right up at ya. Let's use one. Uh, did nothing to it. <laughs> Rip. So far, I've done zero damage. Let's wait again. Second ability. Alright, we got our, We saw its first layer come down. Okay. I'm gonna guess it does 3,000 damage overall. Alright, this is not... I'm not 100% sure. This is just for, for, for what I'm seeing versus the, uh, the, the ZOMGs. So that's 3, 9,000 damage. We got 9,000 damage. Can we get over 9,000 with this one? 12,000. 15,000. I also realized you can, if you already have the ability up, then you can get it up immediately. Oh, freeze, it's lagging. Alright. 15,000, 18,000 damage. Still not back, hold on. We have to wait a little bit. 15,000 damage right now. Or 18,000. I don't quite remember. Was it 6? No, I used 5. 15,000. 18,000. Alright, it's popped now. The DTs are gone. You didn't even see them. 18,000. 21,000. No, I think it was... I think it was 20,000. Or... It took 7. 7 uses to pop it. Somebody check again if you'd... If... Uh, if you could rewind. But I believe it is 7,000, guys. I believe it was 7 uses I used. I believe that BED is 20k HP, so 3 times 7, 21,000 seems about seems about right. Again, I am not 100% sure, but you just saw it right there. 
Seems like the BAD is 20,000 health and the Sar Bomba does 3,000 damage and the Ground Zero does about 700. Again, I am not 100% sure, but this is what it looks to be like. And we are not done yet testing this. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it against uh, this thing over here. Let's see if the Star Bond can pop it. And then I will end it. Alright, this thing is OP. We're right in here, guys. Uh, what do we want to do? Daily challenge? Uh, I think tire play this is kind of boring. Let's try something else. Oh, I haven't unlocked the glue gunner yet, actually. No, no, let's do this. Daily challenge incoming. Because I need to get the glue gunner. This is the last fifth tier upgrade I have not unlocked yet. So I want to do that. No, I didn't try the anti-bloom yet. But, uh, I may try that another time. I'll probably hop into another game where I do another 5th tier, but we'll see. So, I want this part to be, uh, thing. Like, there's no counter detection at all. So, let's get this, this thing right over here. Hopefully, you can catch the bottom of the track over there. Uh, let me check what the sub does. I need to make sure again. I think I want to get Erber starts. Yeah, Erber starts it is. Yeah, it is a pretty easy daily challenge. We're playing on medium mode. We are playing on an easy map. Probably one of the easiest maps there is. I could show other heroes, but I'll do that later. Not right now at the moment, however. But soon. Try not to spam towers too much. Yes, I got you on that. <laughs> How will make sure not to spam towers? But yeah, we're gonna get uh, air burst starts first. And then we're gonna get a glue gunner. I think that's the best way to go about it. I hope. Why do why do Todd and I said think the same way? Well, maybe it's because I was actually watching the stream yesterday and uh, <laughs> I know what he did. I know what know what not to do now that I've seen uh, what he did in this daily challenge. I don't think he's on right now. Probably still sleeping after that long stream of his. But yes. No leg whatsoever, which is great. Yeah, one leggy boy indeed. I need a reactor, yes, but we don't have we don't have to wait for that until around uh around twenty-four. In which case no biggie. Yo, I'm gonna show some 5th tiers later, not yet though. I'm gonna hop into a game, and then show you probably a cheaper 5th tier tower. But we can about afford this air burst starts very very soon. Two more, and then we can get it, yes, alright. This thing does a lot of damage, I think. I mean, it was that way in BTD 5 and BTD battles, but I don't know whether or not... Like, you know Barb, Barb Darts over here? Sub starts to pop four balloons each. So back in BTD5, you were able to not buy it, that upgrade, and would be the same as buying it if you had Urba starts. I don't know if that's the same way, like this time. But I need a glue gunner right now. I need to get that XP. Let me just check. Look, we need 22,000 XP, guys. I probably should start with the glue, but then I would be screwed. <laughs> But we got it now, so that's fine. I just need this thing for round 24 and then I'm good to go. Glue, corrosive glue, we'll get next round. Come on now. Please die. All right. I'm probably gonna go for another one hour. That's probably the highest I can go before I have to grab lunch and then head out. Head out. Won't have a lot of time for the rest of the day. So that's why I'm streaming right early in the morning here. Plus it's always good to get things done in the morning. 
It saves you so much time at the end of the day, guys. It just feels like you have so much time, like, after you're done. After you've done your daily stuff in the morning, you feel like you got the rest of the day to do anything that, anything you want. Versus doing something at night, in which case you'd have to, like, keep waiting and waiting until, like... <laughs> you'll just keep thinking about what you gotta do that, that night. And then it'll be a waste. But getting this done in the in early in the day is really nice. Also, uh, helping out the EU people over here, so... If you're if you're watching this and you're the EU right now, then uh, yeah, you are welcome. <laughs> yeah, right now my phone is not a big deal though. Let's see how much percent I have. Sixty-five percent. All right, that's no biggie. I can if, I can fit four subs in this pond. Um, I don't really care about fitting subs. I just want to get as much glue gunners as possible. Yeah, EU-friendly screen poggers. I might do more of these during the weekdays. Just because I like doing early early morning streams. I don't know why I haven't done them before. Because I like this time. I like this time very much. And again, if you're watching over on YouTube, I am streaming on Twitch as well, so... If you want to watch there, then be my guest. Because eventually I may do a full a full on Twitch over on Twitch. I think in the in the long run that's gonna be worth it. But for now we're going to keep it on YouTube as well. Just so we get uh more people really. <laughs> yeah, sorry to guys in Australia. But you really can't please everybody in the world, like if you stream at one time, there's always going to be another time where somebody cannot watch it because it's night for them. My favorite hero is Gwendolyn. Because she's female. Not because she's good. Because she's female. Um, I think I'm fine with this glue splatter. I know there's a really, really OP glue gunner upgrade, which can actually uh, freeze mobs in place. I don't think I have enough money for that yet, though, so I have to hold off on that. I should also get a glue gunner right at the front here. I'm gonna get this balloon dissolver, and I'm going to get advanced intel. This will allow my sub to like shoot basically everywhere on the, on the map. Yeah, you know, that's actually weird. Gwendolyn is literally the only girl in the game. Because I believe all these... All these uh, towers over here are male. I mean, I don't see them with like, long hair or anything like that. This guy certainly doesn't look female to me. But yes. Feels bad. Gwendolyn the only female in the game. Must be a lot of thirsty monkeys. Am I right? Have I checked? Uh, apparently somebody, somebody told me it's, it's female voice. You can also hear the voiceover, like when you leak lives or when balloons come in. It does actually sound like a female voice now that I'm listening to it. So yeah. Gwendolyn is female. Yes, I did also just assume their genders. I mean, unless otherwise... Anything on the internet is a, is, a, is a male. Unless you know otherwise. That is a safe bet. When's the last time I played SS4? Uh, 1981. <laughs> Guys, I'm just kidding. Also, what the hell is this... Guys, what the hell is the sub monkey doing? Look around. Look around its radius. There's a bunch of balloons. There's a bunch of darts lying around it. What the hell? I think that's the same bug as the fighter monkey from before. It's lagging now. Holy crap. Guys, look at all these darts. Around the sub. What the hell? Alright, I need to restart this. Wait. Can I, can I resume this? Holy shit. I, I didn't know if I could resume it. 
Okay, good, good, good. Okay, thank God. Thank God I can resume it. Holy crap. Is it really a time stop glitch? Because I didn't even use time, time, time stop at all. I honestly don't know what's up with that glitch. If I sell it? Um, I might try selling it. Yeah, yeah. Let me just, let me try selling it after. If the buck comes up again, I'm gonna sell it. But I don't want to deal with that, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't want to deal with any more lag. We've already had enough lag this stream. So I think that is enough lag. Can I get four slubs here? No, I didn't place them optimally. Oh, whatever. That's fine. Three is enough. Yeah, three is enough for me. If it happens again, I'm going to sell it. But yeah, I don't know what what is going on. For some reason, like, like towers with darts, they get bugged and like they start spawning. They start spawning darts all around them for some reason, and then they just stay there and then they just keep on causing more lag and lag and lag. Well, it is true Ninja Kiri doesn't want to release the game with bugs, but I think this is a bug that they didn't notice until, or they didn't. It doesn't replicate unless it's actually pushed to live. So that might be why they didn't fix it, because they didn't know this was a bug. So camel balloons are kind of going to be an issue, because uh, if there's strong camel balloons, then my glue gunner will be completely whiffing all of them. Which kind of sucks. In that case, let's get a glue gunner right over here. Blue soak, bigger blobs, and there we go. You want to see this glitch with heli? You know what? Let's try heli pilot next time. Let's go do that heli pilot. Camo white's coming in. All right. Yeah, I got enough XP for the Apache. I got everything except blue storm over here. So again, I can almost afford that, but not quite. Especially since I'm like still upgrading. Holy crap, lag as well. Get a freaking farm. Well, I would if I could, man. But if you could see on this right-hand side over here, there there are no farms. The farms are gone. Make this a 5-2 glue in there. Uh, I don't think I can afford it. But I'm going to get a 3-2 very soon. So I just need 3300. And that will do a lot of damage to the balloons. I stream from a mobile device. Which can be problematic. Because lag. And phones are not that strong. Um, I'm going to get a glue splatter up here. I was going to stream from side using SideSync. If you don't want SideSync, you just Google it. But it allows you to control your phone like balloon stacks, except it's from your phone screen. But you could turn your phone screen off, which would conserve battery and leg, I assume. So yeah. Uh, $7,000 for balloon liquefier. Should I save up for that? I think I should. Yeah. I need to get more XP for my glue gunner, guys. So, in less than $2,000, I will be able to get a glue liquefier. Also, more lag coming in. Yikes. Yikes. And blue look of fire right now. And yes, all the balloons should be no issue aside from the camo balloons. In which case, I'm going to need something up here. I don't think I can afford this. $24,000 by round 60. No, I can't. I mean, I would if I could. I could go with the free play if I really wanted to. Just to show you. Yeah, we'll hop into Samox mode after then. How about that? How does that sound? 
more count picks coming in. Glue splatter. Um, should I get armor piercing darts? Yes. No, I think I should get a stronger... I need a stronger glue gunner back here because... Because for the camo balloons, I'm gonna need it back here. Contested territory? Uh, I don't really care about BMC anymore, but, uh, cool story, bro. Like, BMC was fun. Back in the day. But, after you played, like, 200 tiles, everything else is pretty much the same. So that part gets boring. Anyways, Blue and Dissolver right back here. So we've got a little weaker Gluna back here, just in case the Camel Balloons get very, very far. Yeah, it is pretty much dead. Also, the Glue uh, Liquifar cannot get every single Balloon, sadly. This does not shoot fast enough. Holy crap lag. My god. Yeah, after this, I'm going to test, like, I'm going to restart my computer. And hopefully it should work, or the side sync will work. And I'm gonna do a couple of like, sandbox, very very leg intensive exercises on my uh, side sync to see if it works. And if it works then our late game run will be good to go. If not, I might have to postpone it. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure, because I really want to do that. I really want I really want to go late game. A hashtag epic late game guys. That's what everybody wants to see, right? Hashtag epic late game. And this time, late game is not only for noobs. Because it requires a lot of skill to get... To get to a very, very high level. Like micromanaging abilities and whatnot. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, camel ceramics. But this shouldn't be a big deal. Now yeah, guys. Epic late game is a lot different in PTD 6 compared to battles. Which is a noob trap. Which app do I use for side sync? Uh, the app is called side sync. <laughs> it's called side sync. I'm gonna get a glue liquefy here. Just cause. Oh, we can almost get our fifth, uh, our last one. Nice, okay. After this, I will have unlocked every single fifth tier ability. So I can show you whatever the hell I want. I could even show you the temple. Molt is streaming? Ah, oh, feels bad, man. I'm not raiding Molt, because he... We don't know each other. And he's, ne he's not going to bring me back, because he knows that he's not going to get anything from it. So why would he do... Why would he raid me? If, so if he's not going to raid me, I'm not going to raid him. We don't know each other again. I, we have never talked. That's probably why it's cutting into my YouTube viewers. I figured it was because of lag. Which it might have been too, but uh, I guess all the kids are overwatching Molt, potentially. I don't know. But again, I do not want lag for tomorrow's stream because, you know, nobody is going to want to watch that. God, also did anyone notice that um, Chris and, uh, yeah, Chris said that he was going to upload at least 6 videos a day on BTD6. Holy crap, six videos a day? Jesus Christ. Like, I'm personally only gonna go for one or two videos a day. Two at most, because I don't want to content overload you guys. He's trying to run more out. Okay, never mind. It was probably the lag then that got me. So, again, I'll have to make sure that lag is not too much of an issue. Also, yes. Last fifth year, unlock, please. Yes. Okay. Alright guys, we got every single 5th year upgrade unlocked in only 6 days of playtime. That and I didn't even play 24-7. So it doesn't take very much. Now I'm not even going to bother collabing with Malt because he doesn't want to collab with tiny YouTubers. I know he collabed with SJB one time but I am still a lot smaller than SJB. So I am not going to try that. Also, ramp 58. Yeah, I'm gonna get Boon Tall very soon. Let's go free play. Let's see how long we can go with just glue and submarine. Let's do that. Camel leads. Yeah, again, the issue is like camel loons. Let's get a reactor first. Just in case, you know what I mean.
Yeah, if only those the Chris balloon or the uh, the ISAB balloon. That will be pretty cool. I know I can fit four, four subs, but I already placed all three of them down, so I don't want to bother. I'm not going to bother. Uh, let's see how easily the speed piece can get out. I think this... Yeah, this trap is not very hard. Not hard at all. <laughs> yeah, not every fifth tier is overpowered, guys. You got 27 monkey on mine, too. Sure, alright. Alright, free play we go! But yes, not every fifth tier is overpowered. Some are pretty damn weak, I might add. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. But for example, yes, the Grandmaster Ninja, which is 37.8k, it is. it looks cool, but it doesn't do that much damage. You can get better towers for that price. And also, yeah, let me put this on strong, actually. To get that armor piercing, holy crap, that's actually a lot of damage to it. There's also another 5th tier tower showcase that I'm going to upload right after the stream, so I'm going to send you guys there. It's going to be on the 5th tier wizard. I'm not going to tell you which upgrade, you'll see. But, I'm going to tell you right now that it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. You might you might know what I'm talking about if you uh, if you have already unlocked those upgrades and you know how good or how how bad how bad the uh, fifth tier is. But yeah, can I defend? Holy shit! Can I defend this round? I might not. I might die. Whatever. I don't care. I'm dead. Okay. Whatever. Let's just go into sandbox mode. I don't want to bother, like, going out and in. Let's just collect our monies. Awesome. Sandbox mode again. Yo, you want to play hashtag ouch? Probably another stream, because I only have... Uh, 50 minutes left. I have to go after 50 minutes, guys. I'm sorry. I would stream, like, I would stream 24-7 if I could. But one, I don't have enough battery. 61% now. And two, I have to go in less than an hour. So, sandbox mode. Yep. Back to this. I'm not showing every fifth tier because I don't want to pull everything right now. But I will show you those that, uh... I will show you those that, like, I've... have already been shown on YouTube. Yes. That is correct. Alright, here we go. Y'all want to see the glue solver? Like, if you didn't watch Tyler's video, then uh, here you go. Here's 5th tier Gluna versus UMG. So, we're gonna have to wait a while because. Yeah. It takes a long time for the thing to pop. And you know what? We can get another 5th tier glue as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and watch what this thing does. Very nice. Awesome. Wow, hilarious, guys. Oh my god, the ZOMG is frozen. Haha. <laughs> frozen in place. Holy crap, guys. Alright, let's put it here where the glue can actually shoot. Oh, notice how it's like switching back and forth. Between between glue, it's actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. Let's sell this. So the fifth tier glue over here, this immobilizes the ZOMG. But if you put another glue gun over here. Like, hold on. This. It actually does not... It does not immobilize the ZMG. I didn't know this. Holy crap. That's actually kind of bad. Yeah, so pro tip. Don't combine these two towers together. What the hell? That's actually pretty lit, though. That's pretty cool. Alternating between uh, green and green and purple. Green and purple. Green and purple. Alright, this is getting out of range now. Let's get this glue gunner back. Yes, here's all the fifth tier glue guys. Another blue solver over here. Oh no, yeah, you're, it's barely being immobilized at all. So yeah, not a good combination. Holy crap. Wait, what the hell is this thing shooting at? 
Um, guys, we found more spaghetti. We found more spaghetti. I don't know what this glue gunner is shooting at. But whatever it's shooting at, it's not working. <laughs> oh my god. We have already found like four bugs today. The third different bug, actually. So one of them was the infinite freebie dart monkeys, which I already knew from yesterday. The other one was the, um, the darts. Like, the darts just laying on the track. Lagging the whole screen up. But, this one, I have no... <laughs> I have no idea what the hell this- how the hell this bug even came to be. Like, why? Why? <laughs> why? Is it because the ZMG is in range? Like, I can see, like, the ZMG is barely touching the bottom of the range there. But it's just- it's just stuck. It's just stuck. Okay. Um, we're selling this. Let's see if it changes. I'm gonna sell it real quick. Go down. Okay, it stopped. But for some reason, it just kept shooting while I was in place. Can I replicate this? Let's see. Let's see if we can somehow replicate this. No, we can't. Yeah, I don't know. That that, that This glue gunner is on crack or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but something's not right with that glue gunner, boy. Alright, we're letting that thing leak. Uh, what do you want to showcase well next with the glue gunner? Uh, DDT? Yeah, DDT. Does this thing slow down? Slows down blue e even more. Okay. Maybe we should get this one instead. Make it stronger. Also get a radar scanner. DDT incoming. Um, okay. This thing kind of sucks. <laughs> Alright. Well, I thought this thing was stronger than it looked. But I guess it's not for... I guess it's not for, um, Moab class balloons. It's more for... More for, like, balloons in itself. So, like, send a bunch of camel fortified or... Ceramics over here, and they get instantly annihilated. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't slow the DAT at all. Like, <laughs> Can you run out of lots of sandbox? Yes. Let me show you. Watch. We got 11 lives right now. Let's just send a DT right out. Just so I don't have to wait for this... This BFB to pop. Yep, and that's what happens. That is what happens when, uh... You go to zero lives. Absolutely nothing. Oh, we didn't show the middle path to your glue yet. So, let me do that right now. One, two, three, four... Glue Storm pelts the whole screen with 10 seconds over glue. Let's see if it affects Moabs. I'm gonna try with just ceramics first. Wait, why is this not. It's not detecting? Why? Wait, what the hell? Uh, is this a bug? Yo. Why is it not detecting? Oh, okay, zero, okay, zero lives, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, it was because it had zero lives, <laughs> never mind. Not a bug, guys, not a bug. I thought it was a bug, but no. It was, it... I, I, I wish it would be a bug, though. <laughs> that would be even more hilarious, but no, no, not a bug. Not a bug. Let me just get more lives here. So, paste. Paste. Alright. <laughs> Okay, never mind, never mind. Now we can see it in action, okay. Let's see if it affects Moabs, does it? Activate the ability. <laughs> okay. What the hell is this? Wacky inflatable glue man? What is this? <laughs> Alright, we got a wacky inflatable glue man, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> wacky inflatable glue man. That's what I'm gonna call this upgrade. The wacky inflatable glue man. Alright, let's wait for it to come back off cooldown. <laughs> or tentacle porn, yeah, yeah, any anything. That also works, yes. Alright, fortify ceramics. Well, as far as I'm concerned, this does nothing. 
Or it does not affect mall class balloons. Let me just put this away from the track. Let me just check. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong thing. I don't know. I, I like I like the name Wacky Inflatable uh, Glue Man better. But if you want to call it tentacle por tentacle porn, then be my guest. All right. Um. Wait, holy shit! This thing is useless. Well, I guess this thing is is about as useful as a wacky inflatable tube man. I think we can uh, come to that conclusion. <laughs> this thing is about as useful as a wacky inflatable tube man. Let's try ceramic. I swear to God, if it doesn't pop with ceramic, that's gonna be really sad. Yeah, this upgrade sucks, guys. Don't buy it. Um. Okay, that's it. Let's do it. Let's do a map. Let's do a map. Yeah. So, for example, that that fifth year upgrade is absolute crap. Unless, of course, you just want a wacky inflatable glue man on your track. Which, in that case, like just for show. Um. Okay. Tell me what map you guys want to play, because I. Don't know what to do. I want to do a map where I can get a medal on. Maybe I could show a fifth gear as well, but nah. Let's do an easy. Let's do easy. Let's play this. Let's play this hard map on easy mode. Starting off slow. Um, let me show you another hero while I'm at it. Oban over here. I can afford this guy right off the bat. Let's get Oban right here. Play easy mode. We got about 40 minutes left, so I'm gonna play some quick. Quick easy maps. Yes, cornfield too. Yes. Okay, I'll do cornfield after. Let's do hashtag ouch first, because this is gonna. This is pretty much the hardest map in the game, I believe. Uh, just gotta wait for this thing to load, which takes quite a long time. All right, it's actually only five hundred dollars open. All right, sweet, sweet. Let's get this thing down. So uh, I guess this is an okay spot. So the thing with open is actually seeks. It seeks out balloons. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh right, I forgot this part of the track. Well, at least it popped like that that balloon over there. Holy crap! I just remembered. Get a dark monkey over here. Oh my god! I don't even know how we're gonna do in pop mode on this map. I think you pretty much have to start with a dark monkey if you want to survive because they come from four different directions. And one tower can only affect three locations, unless you put a boat in the middle. Wait, you can remove the uh, you can remove the water for a thousand dollars, but why would you do that? Boats are OP. Oh, I'm stu <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to this game. Whoops, guys. Well, open kind of sucks. We can tell you that. Um, I'm gonna get a triple dart really quickly. Yeah, unfortunately, this drummer can only affect two different spots at once, so maybe I should get... Uh, maybe I should get a boat in the middle. That is probably the best idea. Either way, this is easy mode, so we don't have to worry at all. Because we're going to beat this no matter what. But, like, you can play literally any map on easy mode, and it's going to be a kick walk, because you only have to defend 40 rounds. So, yeah, but we're getting a boat. <laughs> Let's get a boat. Use the stride with your chimps, yeah. Good idea. But boat here can affect basically all four all four paths. Uh, so that is very nice. That is great. That is very great to hear. Pun intended. Okay, next round we can get a grape shot off. $10 to go. Uh, Obins. So I heard a bunch of people talking about uh, yesterday's entire stream. What exactly does Open say when you activate the ability? Cuz, cuz right now, a lot of people are saying rise. But some people might hear other things like, uh, I don't know, Yanny. Let's get a triple shot up. 
Place boats and subs in the water, then remove the water. <laughs> Holy shit, good idea. Nope, you can't press it anymore. That sounds like a good idea, but unfortunately you cannot. I can't, I'm trying to tap the water right now. Nope, you can't, you can't do that. That would be pretty funny though, like, if you could remove it while the boat was in there. Poor boat then. I feel really bad for the boat. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna get a sub up for... No, no, I'm gonna get a helipilot up. I think helipilot is really good for maps where... There's multiple entrances at different spots. Cause you can just move your helipilot over to where you want it to show up. Yeah, it's stuck here forever. Feels bad. I need to get camel crow's nest. Just for the camel popping power. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's get a sniper for this map. Cause for round 90... For round 40, there's a Moab. So no, no matter where I put this thing on the map, it will uh, do the same damage to a Moab no matter what. You can't say the same for the other towers. So let's get that up. So the thing with snipers is actually, actually there's actually a really, really good upgrade. So if you get the first path up here, and the second path down here, you won't get camo protection, but that doesn't matter. Uh, no tier 5 sniper yet. But yeah, there's a really, really good upgrade. Because this third path over here, it makes basically makes your... There's four straight upgrades that make your sniper shoot faster and faster and faster. I know, very creative, Ninja Kiwi. But it is very awesome to see a hypersonic... but Essentially a hypersonic sniper. So there's faster firing, there's even faster firing, there's semi-automatic rifle. And then there's another one past that. That is even stronger. Which I will show you guys in a second. Yes. Uh, we're gonna leak lives again, I don't care. Actually, I do. We don't have infinite lives, so I should be a little more careful with what I am doing. But, I wanna get a 2-3 sniper. That's what I wanna aim for. In Chile, BCD is $600. That's like... 90 cents USD? Damn, dude. That's a steal. That's a steal. I guess Ninja Kiwi has, like, converted the pricing for different nations, because, you know... Obviously, not all money is worth the same. So it makes sense that it's only 90 cents in Chile. Because if they want as many people to buy the game in Chile, they need to make it cheap, because... For obvious reasons. That I will not tell you. Am I, is anyone going to show the 5th degree Glaive Lord? Uh, I might. But I think I want to play out just a bunch of maps for the rest of the stream. And then on the next one, I will show more 5th tiers. Actually, let me do one more. I'll do one more 5th tier showcase. In sandbox mode. Just, uh, let's see what chat decides, decides on. I heard Glaive Lord. If anybody has any other objections, then feel free to let me know. I'll just go with whatever I see, I feel is coolest. Because again, I have never tried any of these 5th tier towers either. A lot of them I have not tried yet, even though I have unlocked them. Just because there's like 57. I don't have time to look at 6 57 in sandbox mode. I don't know why that paused. Oh right. Uh, camel balloons. Shit. Camel balloons. Uh... What do I need for camel balloons? Probably this thing. Do I let the rounds auto start? Yes. I actually showed Star Bomb early in the stream. So if you missed that, you can just check the VOD. Or a potential video I might make on it. I will see. I do intend to make uh, videos of streams, of course. Because this because this streaming time I'm using is also eating up time I would use to record. So it makes sense, right? Anyways, I got a 2-3 sniper over here. 2 3 I'm just going to get up another uh, boat. Just for cam uh, camel balloons. Come on, stop lagging. Stop lagging. All right. Uh, what's the best way to spend early no monkey knowledge points? Actually, I'll show you guys that again after after this game, and then we'll show one more fifth tier tower. Yeah, this sniper is really strong. Imagine if you get this one, full auto rifle with incredible popping power. Yeah, even more, even more bombs, which will basically uh, annihilate uh, a Moab. So just watch for round forty. 
Just you watch. Camel Whites, I'm gonna leak again too. Whatever. Again, you can literally do anything on these e on these uh, easy difficulties. And even if it's like the hardest map in the world, like the corner track, then uh, it won't be. It still won't. It still will be very easy because you get so much money. You get 200 lives. Here's full auto rifle. You won't see it yet. You won't see how fast it fires because it's literally like destroying every single balloon at the entrance. But I'll slow it down come the next round and watch how quickly it, it destroys the lab. Just watch. Even a fast forward right now, just look how fast it's going. Jeez. When does the round end? Okay, slow down. Just watch. Yeah. Uh. Okay, <laughs> I almost thought I was gonna die there. Because it popped into yellows, but. GG. That's a sniper. Let me just show you guys uh, monkey knowledge real quick. Just give me one moment, guys. Just give me one moment. Ahem. Monkey knowledge. Alright. So I have 12 points to spare, which I did not invest yet. I'll probably invest this for tomorrow's late game stream, because every little bit helps. But I don't think there are very many uh, high level... High level towers over here. Let's watch. Let's, let's go over here. So I put more of that... Like what I recommend with my first 10-20 points. Uh, personally, I like farms. I like money. So that's why I've gotten basically everything over here. Oh wait, I could have gotten this. Uh, no I can't. I could have gotten this for... Uh, chimps, but I, I realize it's disabled. But, this is going to be useful for late game tomorrow. So it gives me more money. I'm going to buy this, actually. You know what? Let's actually buy this entire thing. Uh, I'm going to use Spike Fireys tomorrow, so this will help. This will help. This will not help, because money doesn't matter. So now I got everything in the support tier, aside from... Yeah, aside from uh, this one, because I don't care about cost. Probably not going to get this in a real game. Uh, heroes, this is not gonna help me. Will I be streaming tomorrow? Yes. 24, 26 hours from now. 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Late game stream. Be sure to check out that. Hopefully the leg will be gone by then. Anyways, heroes, I didn't invest anything into this because it's useless. It's useless for late game because heroes suck late game. Anyways, powers, nothing again because I don't use powers. Primary, I have nothing invested again because uh, I didn't find anything that was very good. Or at least, nothing that will help me late game. Like, tell me. Oh wait, faster glue. Uh, 10% faster attack speed. This will be useful for late game. Should I just focus on late game, guys? Attack shooter attack speed increased by 8%. Um, this might be really good. I might just get this right now. Yeah, 8pm for your EU people. So, also EU friendly still. Mobs lose gloom. Oh, okay. Uh, this might be worth it to get, actually, for tomorrow. Uh, this too, but, nah. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh! Hard press. Ugh. I just have to invest so much, that's the problem. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll, we'll see about it. I'll, I'll think about it after. Military, I have these two, because, uh, monkey, boat, and sub, I use that a lot. That's about it. Magic, I think this is the last one I showed. Yeah, last one. So we got, uh, I just wanted to do it for, to get more monkey money. That's really all. Just the monkey money. And Sun Avatar can pop Purple Balloon, so I don't have to deal with that. I just realized I got that. Okay. Yep. And yada 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 yada. Alright, that is it. Let's do a fifth here. What do you guys want to see? Alright, so what fifth tier to show you guys today? Well, let me just head on over to the map. Monkey Meadows again. This is basically the default map for 5th tiers showcases, I guess. I guess, since that's what we're gonna do. I could also show uh, heroes on this as well, but let's do a... Yeah, let's do one more tower showcase. And then maybe an easy, an easy run. Okay, so somebody said Glaive Lord. You know what, I'm just gonna do that. I don't care. Glaive Lord it is. Since nobody else said anything else. Uh, one, two, three, four. I didn't- I never upgraded this yet, so let's see. $43,000.
Glaive Lord surrounds itself in three special glaives that shred anything that comes near it. Well, let's get it. Alright. Alright. It's now a hooded. Purple. Is that a purple? I can't tell. Yeah. A purple hooded Glaive Lord over here. Let's check the upgrades. Alright, give me one more, guys. <coughs> <clears throat> Alright, so I think we're gonna get a faster throwing and wrangle on this one. Let's get this, so it's $40,000. Let's just see how much damage it does. So let's start off very slow. Let's see if we can pop a red balloon. Alright, let's try this one. Alright. Green. Pink. Black. I just realized that purple balloon is in between black and white. So I guess they assume that the purple balloon is about as strong as... Or it's stronger than the black balloon, but the white balloon is stronger than the purple balloon. I personally don't agree with that. Anyways, mob incoming. Let's see how much it does to it. Let's see how much these glaives do, actually. So right now, it's basically getting shredded. Uh, Wow. Uh, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, that's not very good. Like, I'm pretty sure it gets... It's basically hitting the mob the entire time. But it was not enough to defeat a mob. Man, that's trash. That's not good. That is no good. Let's try to get more... Let's see if Jungle Drums affects it then. Jungle Drums, faster attack speed. Let's try another mob over here. Let's see if the mob actually pops now. Oh, it does pop. Okay, so we know Jungle Drums does affect the Glaives spinning around it. But, yeah, it's really not that great. It, I guess it, you're, good, you're supposed to use it for, like, group balloons. But even then, uh, I don't know. It kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Let's try a... Yeah, let's try a mob with Call to Arms activated. Uh, never mind. Let's wait for it to come off cooldown. It was with the grain, try against the grain. Oh! Yes. I forgot to try with or... with. I'll get grain. Yeah, I forgot to try... Uh, <laughs> Gotta put it in the middle here. Yes, let me try it against the grain or with the grain. That might make a difference, actually. Yeah, I'm silly. How did I know that? Let's try it, uh, Moab. Let's see what the Moab does. Oh, I just realized the Glaive spin much, much faster. <laughs> yeah, no difference, guys. It still did not pop. So never mind. With So there it is guys, BTD's science. With the grain or against the grain does not matter. Try a thousand consecutive balloons. Alright. Good idea. Cause since it doesn't seem that great against strong balloons, maybe it will be better against uh clump balloons. So fortified ceramics, let's go. If this can't be fortified ceramics, I'll be very, very, very sad. But it looks like it does, guys. It does. All right. So I guess that is what you're supposed to use it for. You're supposed to use it for a lot of balloons, not a lot of blimps or blimps at all for that for that matter. Yes. Okay. All right. So it seemed weak because I was I was sending the wrong stuff against it. You're not supposed to send Moabs, or rather, the Glaive Lord is not supposed to be against. Oh, my bad. The Glaive Lord is not supposed to be against. Moab class balloons. It's supposed to be meant for... Hold on. Let me just delete everything. Back to one count. Let's try BFB. Against this. Um, I should probably move this up here because it gets does it a little faster. Jungle drums. Uh, let's see if we can actually pop down the BFB layer. If it does, it's actually not too bad. I know the BFB layer is a lot slower than Moab, so... Yeah, it actually might, alright. You know, it's actually not that half bad, not half bad. You just can't use this on its own, really. Okay. Not as bad as I thought at, at the start. Let me just wait for this to time out. I also realize you, you can send invisible balloons, just to, just to show the tower attacking. See those invisible balloons slowly moving across the track. It's kind of hard to see because of like 
you know, it's hollow and shit. But let's send a Moab with Call to Arms. Let's see if we can actually defend a Moab. Let's see if the Call to Arms affects the speed of which these Glaives turn or do damage at. Uh, yes it does. Alright, sweet, sweet, sweet. Homeland defense affects all monkeys for 15 seconds. Alright. Let's just get more to Call to Arms in the middle here. Just so we don't have to worry about thing. Let's do a Call to Arms against a BFB. Try Primo Charge against Moabs. Yeah, I might try that. Let's just wait for this BFB to come on over into the range of the Glaive Lord. Activate Call to Arms right about now. Let's see if that does anything. If it kills it any faster or if it... Oh, it's out. Let's use it again. Uh... Wait, no, not really. No, no, no. Barely. So Call to Arms gives you 50% more attack speed. But it doesn't look like that did very much. Anyways, I think that's about it for the Glaive Lord. Like... If it can't beat BFBs or Moabs, I don't think there's it's worth it to try DDTs or uh, Bads. Yeah, that be that, that DDT is just gonna go right on by. So yeah. Oh, have I tried village stacking? Okay, good idea. Good idea. Thanks for reminding me. Let's just try a bomb tower. In the range of how many villages? I don't know. A bunch. I'm pretty sure they patched this. I wish they had it, but I doubt it works. Alright. Let's see if it works. Let's see if hypersonic balloons work. Or hypersonic towers. So I'm going to use a slow moving tower over here. Nope, doesn't work guys. If it did work, it would be shooting at like 10 times speed, but nope, does not work. Sell that, sell that. Somebody wanted us uh, to show turbo charge, so I'll just do that. Let's just show the fifth, this one real quick. So, perma charge basically permanent super attack speed. Ability increases the lethality even more. All right, all right. So yeah, we got a basically a perm permanent turbo charge over here, guys. And then if we activate the ability, what happens? Even more, yeah, you can hear you can hear the animation. I see double the glaives going through. Like I see purple glaives and then yellow glaives. Damn. And just left a little bit of blue balloon residue behind. But yeah, that's a hypersonic. Fifth tier. I don't think we need to show anything else. Let's go back. Let's do one more easy map and then I'm gonna call quits because I gotta go. Let's do the hardest map as we can. Oh, let's do corn cornfield. I wanna show you guys this map actually. Easy because I don't care. Yeah, it's pretty good. That uh, hypersonic, hypersonic boomerang. So, uh, cornfield, I have not played yet, but the map is really cool. Let me just show you what it does. So, doesn't look like too hard a map, guys, right? I mean, like the balloons travel for pretty a pretty far time. Like it goes around one giant band, three by two giant bands, three giant bands, but. Look at where you can place towers. You can only place it in the middle here. Because if you press here, you have to pay to remove it. So when I found this out, I thought I was like, wow. That is very smart. That is very creative of a map. I might add. Anyways, let's drop open over here. So this is going to be a very, very fun map to play like on hard slash impossible. Because it's going to be a lot different than any other... Any other map we have played right now? A lot of the maps are pretty unique in that sense. Because, like, now they have line of sight. And that you have, like, the... Um, the things you can remove that block you from placing things down. Adds a lot more strategy to the game. So, what do I want to build for now in this little tiny corner over here? Since I have the space to do so. Yeah, I don't know. What tower should I even place in here? I can't place very many, so I have to I have to choose carefully. I gotta choose carefully about what towers I wanna. Uh, what do I wanna do? Well, Open's gonna leak here because he sucks ass. 
Thanks a lot, Omen. I actually had a bunch of money that I didn't use, so that's kind of my fault, too. Can I... Uh, uh, we're gonna do a Monkey Ace, as silly as that sounds. But it's a really good... It's, it's a really good spot for it, guys. You get right in the middle of the track over here. Uh, Monkey Ace. Of course, a wise... Indeed, a wise choice. <laughs> Let's see what upgrade I want to get from Monkey Ace. So, uh, rapid fire shoots faster than normal. That actually, that actually sounds like something I might want to do. Rapid fire over here. Shoots faster than, yeah, yeah, okay. Anytime now. These maps are, these maps are taking quite a, kind of long because we have to wait for everything to drop. Let's just activate Oban right now, his ability. ODS does seem insane, yes. I have actually already used that earlier in the stream today, but I can show you again because there's nothing wrong with nothing wrong with showing you another time for those who weren't here at the beginning of the stream. Let's use open again. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It refreshes, so you can only have one of those up yes. at a time. All right. So you can get close to an ODS with this one. You get so it starts with eight darts. Rapid fire makes you shoot more darts. Uh, or faster darts, and lots more darts gives you 12, so 50% more popping power, which is very nice. I'm gonna get that real soon. Yo, there's a lot of towers that you can choose, really. A lot of possibilities, a lot of strategies you can come up with. So far, I feel like Ace is really good. Uh, what else is really good? Very, very low tier glue is very good. Low tier druids are very good as well. Higher tiers, I feel like they're not very All good. Right. But that's just me. Star bomb now. You could just watch the rest of this VOD. Oh uh, no, Side Sync is an app for Android, not iOS. Sorry to burst your bubble if you were trying to find something to cast onto your uh, iOS with your iOS. Yes, best game of 2018. Beats all E3 games, hands down, guys. BT6 is the game of the year. If some you quit on joining at the object, get automatic roof for free. Oh, is that? Do you have to actually quit out and rejoin for that? I thought it was a, it was a constant for all maps, because I know that happened for me in Rake, the Rake map. It disappeared at like around 40 to 50 or so. That is, that's as much as I can remember. Also, these totems are in the way, is it? Let me just see. Never mind. I can place a, a sniper over here. So I'm just going to sniper because I need towers. Oh shit, no. Holy crap, guys. These cornfields also block line of sight. So this sniper is absolutely useless. Holy crap. And on the other hand, uh, it looks like Monkey Ace is, is the way to go. Yeah, Monkey Ace is the way to go, guys. Because look. Because, uh, yeah, the Monkey Ace doesn't care about line of sight. It just shoots the darts right over all the projectiles. Or all the objects. Holy crap, I just realized that. So Monkey Ace is a 100% must on this map. Or at least it's very, very good on this map. So yeah. Although technically, if you're being realistic, you would not be able to uh, pop balloons at all. Because, you know, what are these darts doing? Are they, like, trying to shoot down over, over the going field? Like... I don't know. We can't really see in like a full perspective, but yeah. Looks like Monkey Ace is the way to go. I need 2550 for a ODS, so I'm probably gonna get that very soon. Yeah, the thing is, I don't. I want to remove objects, but I wanna. I wanna try to beat this without removing objects, which shouldn't be a big deal on easy mode. Like I can remove this for 700. Yeah, you have to remove it to get line of sight, but I kind of don't want to do that. You can place two on this map, on this part. Uh, let me see if I place open in the right spot that allows me to do that. I really hope it does. Also, alright, we got 50% battery right now. 50%. Round 22, alright. Yeah, I need open really- I need, I need ODS right now because... This, this ace is leaking a lot of lives. So I should be able to afford that. Uh, awesome. 
after I leak a bunch of lives to this round. Bit of Buccaneer? Oh, yeah. Good idea. Good idea, mate. Also, I'm getting a bunch of light spikes, too. I hope this isn't the case when I do side sync in the future. Wait, what the hell? I got I lost money. I swear I was almost at 2,500 or 2,550. Uh, apparently not. Okay. Okay, then. Also, God, open sucks so much. If I had Gwendolyn, this would make it so much easier. I also think... Oh! Uh, open is immune to... Or purple balloons are immune to Open's ability because it is... Also considered magic. Also, ODS. Alright, we are we are good to we are good to go now. Attack shooter ability works, yes. Oh right, LEDs. Shit, LEDs. Oh my god. We are two rounds away from LEDs. And we don't have lead popping power. I don't think so. I mean we have pineapples, but yeah. I'm not gonna try pineapples. Can I get a glue gunner here? No? Ah, screw it. Let's just get a glue right over here. Oh no. The totem is in the way, guys. Sell the totem. Stupid totem. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, right now, open is causing more trouble than anything else. Stupid totems. Stupid ass totems. Alright, there we go. Wait, open pops leads? Oh. <laughs> Does it? If so, then uh, never mind. I thought for a moment it didn't. Are you sure about that, actually? Uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see because Obin shoots first. Hold on, I'm gonna slow this down real quick. Okay, it does, it does, never mind, okay. Uh, okay, in that case I can sell this. Let's get a Blade Maelstrom, actually. Somebody mentioned that. Let's use the Blade Maelstrom. It's really no different than, uh, the Maelstrom in BTD5 and BTD Battles. But let me just show you it, nonetheless. I think with the uh, Maelstrom, I'll be able to like defend a uh, single Moab, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Camel Leds come round 59, same thing as BTD5. They were kind of lazy and they didn't like, really uh, change up the maps very much, or the round, the rounds of the balloons. So a lot of the maps are very familiar. So for example, round 42, round 43, round 40, round 50, round 49. Round 59, round 60, 62, 63, um, 65, 70, 76, 77, 78, and the list goes on and on and on. But we can afford our Maelstrom very soon. I'm just going to activate it real quick because I don't think we're in any emergency as of yet. Are there gonna be any skins in this? Uh, probably. Let's activate the Maelstrom right now just to show you guys how it looks like. Nothing really special, but yes, the blades do go through all the cornfields. So, Blade Maelstrom is another is another tower or upgrade that is good if you have a map that blocks line of sight a lot, because it can shoot through objects. Apparently, not very realistic, but uh, it does work. That's all that matters. Anyways, let's remove this guy over here. Boom. I got a bunch big open land to place something in. I don't know what I want to place. Maybe yes. just an alchemist, just for fun. Strong. Larger potions. Uh freezing again. Yeah, if only it chipped down all the corn too. If only. <laughs> uh That'd be cool. Like if you could activate an ability to get rid of all these for free. God. But I think I don't think that technology is there yet, guys. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Is ODS better than Spectre? I, don't, I honestly don't know. But the thing with this this Ace over here, it also shoots anti Moab missiles. So before the ODS is, was not very good against Moabs because you know it's so inaccurate. But this time it actually shoots Moab seeking missiles. So it doubles as both popping power. For Moab and the Moab Children. Open's branch stays for two rounds, so it gives you constantly. Alright, I'll drop it down then. I don't know how many boons it pops, but not very much. So in that case, I do prefer Gwendolyn. 
Gwendolyn's uh, first wall fire actually pops way more balloons than Oban. So clearly she's more superior than Oban in every... Basically every sense. Uh, we're gonna leak lives? Oh, we are. Damn. I probably should use the Maelstrom there. Oh, well. That's okay. Let's just get a little wizard down, just cause. Let's drop a wall fire. So this is basically Gwendolyn's thing. Which, uh, yeah. The wizard kind of stole. Or Gwendolyn stole it. We will we'll never know. We don't know for sure. That is the thing. Does anyone know if Riku Farm is possible? Well, little do you know that there might be somebody out there who uh, who has made a video on uh, Riku Farming. I wonder who. Yeah, look at those Moab missiles. Holy crap. That thing is so worth a thousand dollars. Way better than Moab models. Just use the missile to clean up, and yep, that is the end. Victory, free play, but I think that is it for me. Let's go home. Blech. So yeah, I have to go right now. I would stream a lot longer if I could, but that's going to do it for me. But, again, I should make an announcement right now. In case you didn't know, I am streaming tomorrow again. In about 25 hours from now, so Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be going for a very, very late game attempt. Going for the highest round possible, so it's going to be a very, very long stream. So I hope to see you guys there, if you can make it. But I got to go right now. I got things to do. I wish I could stream longer, but yeah. Thanks for streaming today, guys. Loving BTD6 a lot. Sure you guys are too. Oh, also I'm a recent little video, video right now, yes. I forgot. It's gonna be on the 5th tier wizard. Let me just... Pull that up right now. And I'll link that to you guys. And we are not raiding Molt because we don't know Molt. He doesn't know me. Here you guys go. Go watch this video, right now. And I'll see you guys next time.